Texas Stadium, the home of the Dallas Cowboys in Irving, Texas. They entertain the Philadelphia Eagles in heat that is downright staggering. It's been over 180 degrees on the surface of the field earlier this afternoon. Unbelievable. Matt Summerall here with John Madden. And John, the slate is clean. It's the first game of the year. It's a new season. There's nothing quite like it. No, you can't beat opening day. You know, we think of all the years that we've had opening days and as players, as coaches, and, and everyone's optimistic. I mean, the fans are optimistic. The coaches are optimistic. The players are optimistic. If this can be their year, they look back and say, hey, look, the Rams did it last year. We got bunting. We got excitement. And in every locker room today, as a player walks out, one player is going to say, hey, you can't win them all if you don't win the first one. And the Philadelphia Eagles under second year coach Andy Reid are one of those people who are very optimistic. Yeah, and I like Andy Reid. I think Andy Reid is a very good coach and Donovan McNabb, his young quarterback, is, is going to be a quarterback. But I think right now their offense is about another guy, Deuce Staley. I think he's the heart and soul of that offense. They got John Runyon now. They have a better offensive line. Defensively, we've done so many of these games over the years. It's always been one thing. They have always been physical with the Cowboys. They have always blitzed a lot. They have always tried to knock Troy Aikman down on every play. A lot of people think this is the year for Troy and Emmett, Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman. This will be their last chance. They went out and acquired some weapons. What about the Cowboys? Well, you know, and we talk about Dave Campo being his. Uh, the, the first year of a head coach anywhere and Dave Campbell was saying in the whole offseason the one thing they talked about is we have to score points we have to be an offensive team and we can't rely on our defense anymore if we're going to be good not only today but this year we have to score points heat today will definitely be a factor John and I'll be right back and DJ Johnson will have more on the heat story what gets us through the lean years? Why do we still hope when greatness has passed us over once again? Because when destiny finally does show up, and she will, we can say, I was here all along. This is why we watch. NFL Sunday Ticket lets you flip through up to 13 channels of NFL football every Sunday on DirecTV. Never miss a moment. Sign up now and also get our best programming package free for three months. So many of our employees around the world find the energy to coach children while still holding down a full-time job. Perhaps it's because finding energy is their full-time job. These are the men and women of Texaco, a proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. The return of the season is brought to you by E-Trade, the number one place to invest online. Trailing by one point with 16 seconds left, the Tennessee Titans hope for a miracle against the Buffalo Bills in last year's AFC wildcard game. Prayers were answered when Lorenzo Neal's handoff was lateraled by Frank Wycheck to Kevin Dyson for one of the greatest returns in NFL history. Tennessee! Eins, zwei, drei. Johnny! Johnny! Yeah. Johnny! Yes! Yes, my butter kiss. Time to rub the bunions. Great. You're so sweet, Johnny. <sighs> Between the toes. I know, I know. Oh. It's time for E-Trade. Sign up today and receive a $75 bonus. welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Welcome back to Texas Stadium where the air temperature is over 100 degrees and you heard Pat and John say the field temperature is reaching 200 degrees. Now because of the heat, the Eagles training staff has given IVs to two Eagle players they felt might be susceptible to cramping and dehydration. Now the Eagles have also brought along pickle juice. That's right, it's just off the supermarket shelf pickle juice. Now there's no evidence to support that pickle juice does prevent cramping. The Eagles just say it does. Now another thing the Eagles did to keep fresh before the game, they took their team off the field 10 minutes early. 
10 minutes early off their pregame routine. Hopefully that does keep them fresh. This is something we'll be keeping up with throughout the game. Back to you, Pat and John. All right, DJ, thank you very much. Over on the Cowboy bench, they've taken all precautions they can possibly take. You can see the fans and the mist and the umbrellas. And uh, I don't think a, I've ever seen an umbrella, have you? No, I haven't. Not at a football game, not down the field. It's funny that the, the Cowboys sideline, their players, their bench is in the sun. Over here on the Eagles sideline, their bench is in the shade. David Akers is going to kick off for the Eagles and back deep for Dallas. Jason Tucker and Michael Wiley, the rookie. Akers. Tries an onside kick to start the season. Yeah, I saw that thing coming the I way that he too. started. He started over on the right hash mark and, and he came all the way across and he just hit that thing. And the, and the Cowboys were expecting the, the return, and they all started back. Damian watch him, Douglas. But you'll see him coming in here, right here, and the way he hits it. And see the Cowboys, they all start running back, and the Eagles get up there. The ball, remember, on an onside kick, the ball has to go at least 10 yards before the kicking team can recover it. It went 12, and Damian Douglas came up with it, and it's first and 10 Philadelphia. That's a positive way to start things off, isn't it? Donovan McNabb with an empty backfield. Throws quickly, pass complete to Chad Lewis, his tight end. Let's look at the Eagle offense. Here's the line. And John Runyon, the most important acquisition, and he is mean and big, and it's contagious. Mayberry, Miller, Wilburn. Those that will handle the ball, Small, Staley, Martin Lewis, and Johnson. Donovan McNabb is the quarterback. Second and five. Deuce Staley. Going to be close to an eagle first down in Cowboy territory. Here's the Dallas defense. The front four, and they'll be doing a lot of alternating. Greg Ellis and Ebenezer Ekubon. The ends, Hennings and Spellman, the tackles. Three very mobile linebackers, Coakley, Datwin, and Hambrick. And the secondary, that's where the problems might lie. McNeil and Larimore, the corners. George Teague and Darren Woodson, the two safeties. Quick stream. Charles Johnson and Johnson gets to about the 41 before he's taken down by Darren Woodson. You know, I really like what Andy Reid did here. I mean, at some point, you have to you have to make a play that's going to change a game. And uh, sometimes it's in the first quarter. Sometimes it's the first play of the game. The second, the third, the fourth. But it took a lot of guts to come in here to Dallas, to Texas Stadium, and on the opening kickoff of the season kick and call an onside kick that took a lot of guts second and five and so far it's paid off no points yet but the Eagles on the move McNabb gives to Staley and Staley hammers for an Eagle first down stopped by Hambrick do Staley is one of my favorite players I think that you know, if you said who's the who's the most underrated back in all of football I would say it's do Staley well as you said in your opening remarks he's the catalyst yeah, he's the heart and soul of this team, and they have to they have to get those things going. Here's the 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 Cowboys are making a change here. They brush, just brought Leon Lett in for the first time, and I know one thing: the Eagles have a trap for Leon Lett, a tackle trap by John Runyon that they're going to get him on. Big number 78. This is not the trap. This is McNabb back to screen it to Staley, and Staley crosses the Dallas 20. Down to about the 13 yard line. Stopped again by Woodson. You know, Deuce Staley just looks quicker and fresher than the Dallas Cowboy defense. Yep. You know, we, we know that the Cowboys are going to have a problem with their defense. I mean, they're undersized at linebacker, they don't have a corner, but you still have to tackle well. And these moves that Deuce Staley made didn't let any of the Cowboys get in position to make a tackle. Well, they weren't expecting to be on defense this quickly after they won the toss. But the onside kick was successful, and the Eagles have it first and ten. Here's McNabb. Batted down. That was Leon Lett Leon got in Lett there. Got the big hand yeah, that's that's the thing that Leon Lett gives you, is gives you that pressure up the middle. 
And you're going to see Leon Led here. He's just going to come up the middle, and, he, and he's always been excellent at that. You just get up, and he's a big, tall guy. Takes a little inside move, and then gets that hand up, that left hand up, and knocks it right back to Donovan McNabb. He's six six. The Cowboys have made a change at cornerback. It's Philly based Sparks. That's one thing they said that they they just picked up Sparks the other day, but they were going to use him in this red zone or inside the twenty. McNabb. Gives again to Staley. The blocking is good, and Staley is good. And out of bounds at about the three, a yard shy of a first down. Remember last year in Philadelphia, the Eagles came out in the second half with Deuce Staley, and they kind of, kind of been a stale game up until that time. And Deuce Staley just took over that third quarter, and he and he beat the Cowboys. Look at him. He beat a lot of teams. <laughs> yeah, he did. Or accounted for a lot of their offense. He accounted for 41 percent of their offense. Staley came back to the Eagle bench. Let's see if we can figure out why and what's wrong with him. Well, Maybe was, a cramp. No, he was limping there. Yeah, the he was. That That's thing. what I thought. They're going to measure with the first down. Brian Mitchell, whom they acquired from the Redskins, is going to replace Staley or has at the moment. There's Deuce Staley over on the bench. They can't lose him. Well, again, we talked about that heat down there, Pat, being you know 170 or 180 degrees down there in the field. It's unbelievable. And, and and that could just be the effects of that. I mean, it, because he was running. I mean, he's been he's been running. He's been going full speed. He's been putting some move on. Mass substitutions by both sides. The Cowboys are hoping for some response from the fans in the end zone. As Joe Bowden is one of the ones. Who has come in? Stanley Pritchett back with Mitchell. That's Pritchett. Flag on the play. He got to the one. Yeah, you know, and that's that's in the area of, of, of holding, too. Tom White. Although that's not holding, it's against the Cowboys. Yeah. I think they're signaling too many men on the field. It's Tom White, the referee. Now you get that early in the regular season. I mean, you have it all the time in preseason where you don't have your substitutions down. And, you know, you have, you know, 10 guys in there sometimes and 12 guys in there. I'll bet you that never happened to you after six weeks of training camp. Nope, nope, nope. That, uh, I will say that, that that never did happen. Guys are supposed to know they're making reasonably good money, I think you'd have to say. They ought to, ought to be able to tell when they're supposed to be in the game. <laughs> First down. This is where they have to go in behind. You know, we talked about the 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 size and and John Runyon and and how they gave him all that money to come over from Tennessee and he's a right tackle and you'd think when you get in this situation that's why you're paying him all that money and that he, you would run in on that side right there. He is big. Mitchell came in motion. McNabb dumps it in the end zone. Touchdown to Jeff Thomason. That's not a bad move there. I'm really impressed with what Coach Andy Reid did. I mean, that, that whole drive, you expect him to run. You expect him to run in there behind Runyon. They fake in there behind Runyon, throw it into the end zone to Thomason. But it all started, remember this, with that onside kick. Yep. And having the gut, you know, we all have onside kicks in in life, but having the guts to call it. Yep. That was big. On opening kickoff, opening day, on the road. There are a lot of things that go into that. Acres to try the extra point. And the Eagles lead it seven to nothing. They strike in a hurry. McNabb to Thomason puts them on the scoreboard. Acres extra points good. Maybe something a little darker. Yeah. the one perfect match 
Oh, she is gonna go nuts. She's going to love this. Oh, I score. Honey? Hey. Got a little surprise for you. So do I. I actually found someone to buy this old lamp. Isn't that great? $500. <laughs> Whether you're buying or selling on eBay, use your Visa card. Visa, eBay's preferred way to pay. <laughs> this year, the U.S. Olympic team will put the world's best to the test. And this summer, Cadillac invites you to put its best to the test. And during the Cadillac U.S. Olympic countdown, you'll find now is the right time and the right opportunity. The power of and, the fusion of design and technology. Cadillac. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of the Super Bowl. Let's watch a touchdown again. Here's Baron Wortham right here. Now watch the motion takes the outside guy. He comes up. He thinks it's a run. And then Jeff Thomason just gets right in there behind him. Acres to kick off. Doesn't look like an onside kick this time. As Jason Tucker about a yard deep in the end zone coming out with it. Tucker hit before he gets back to the 20 by Barry Gardner who takes him down. It is hot. Every precaution has been taken but it's still hot. Their parents all have great jobs. Live in the same neighborhood. Same cars. Same vacations. So why will some families be paying for college while the rest are praying for scholarships? Some people already know our financial representatives excel at a lot more than life insurance. Northwestern Mutual Financial Network. Are you there yet? It is more than a trial by fire. It is a rite of passage. And if you can master your fear, outsmart your enemy, and never yield, even to yourself, you will be changed forever. The few, the proud, the Marines. If you thought being a student was hard, now what? He's trying to send Dana Poole home because she's not wearing a bra. Try being a teacher. It's obscene. It isn't obscene. You just have a problem with the female body. Young lady, the female body. Harvey, look at those breasts. Harvey. Harvey. Look at you, purr. From the creator of Ally McBeal and the practice comes Boston Public, Fox Fall. First quarter, 7 0 Philadelphia over Dallas. Here's the Cowboy offense. The offensive line supposed to be one of the best. Adams, Allen, Stepnoski, Page, and Eric Williams, who was late reporting. Ishmael, Emmett Smith, Robert Thomas, the two backs. David LaFleur is not starting. It's Jackie Harrison and Joey Galloway. You know, the interesting thing here, Pat, on, on first down, the Eagle defense has five defensive backs in. They substituted and they're using nickel on first down. And the Cowboys go with the empty backfield. And Aikman drops. Aikman falls down, tripped up. Corey Simon, the rookie, tripped up Aikman as he started to retreat. The rookie number one draft choice. That's why they brought Corey Simon in here, is to get pressure, to get pressure up the middle. And you watch him here. That's good coverage. You see Aikman, he went, he tried to throw. He had to bring it back down. Then when he brought it back down, Corey Simon was right there. But that's what you call a coverage sack. He couldn't throw the ball when he wanted to, and he had to hold it until Corey Simon got there. Second and 17. The Eagles substitute defensive backs this time. Reverse. To Ishmael. And the Rocket, Ken Rocket. Out to almost the 50-yard line, out to the 48. Al Harris knocked him out of bounds. 
Well, they got a good block on Brian Dawkins. You're going to see Dawkins is going to be right up here, and you see the block there. He just gets a race there, and then Rocket Ismail has great speed, and once he can get to the outside, he is going to take it up the sideline. But watch here. Dawkins comes up right there. Larry Allen just buries him. And then Rocket Ismail was right behind Larry Allen. Picked up 37 yards. This is Emmett Smith. And Emmett flashes into the Eagles secondary. His first carry this year. He didn't play in the preseason. We got a barn burner here. Me, though. Good, good day to burn a barn. <laughs> the Eagle defense, the front four, Douglas, Thomas, Simon, and Mamula. They'll be alternating a lot of people. Gardner. Trotter and Carlos Emmons, the linebackers. And the secondary is a good secondary. Taylor and Vincent, the corners. Dawkins and Moore, the safety. First and ten Cowboys at the Eagle 40. Aikman back to throw it. The blitz is coming, and Aikman it goes, goes down. First there was Man Man Mike Manmula. Yeah, there was right talk about you know, Mike Mamula, whether he was going to start or not. Mike Mamula is starting today at the left end. Remember, he's played right end. He's played left end. He just takes an inside move there on Eric Williams. You see, and he beat Eric Williams to the inside and then are right up on, on Troy Aikman. The Eagles, as we said earlier, have always put pressure on Troy Aikman generally and specifically always up the middle. Right. Carlos Emmons with an assist to Mamula. Here's Aikman with protection this time. The pass outside almost picked off. Almost picked off by Al Harris. Intended for Joey Galloway. You know, anytime you get a divisional rivalry game like we have here today, yeah. you get a lot of talking. Al Harris is a, is a good corner. He's the third corner. And he comes in as a, as a nickel corner. And you see here, he's just playing the outside. They try and throw it to Galloway. Ooh. Al Harris got a better jump on that ball than Joey Galloway. Joey Galloway ran that pattern way too close to the sideline. Third and 15. Chris Warren in the backfield this time. And Aikman back to throw. Doesn't have time again. This time he's wrapped up by Hugh Douglas from the other side. And that was from a three-man line. And one thing... Jim Johnson is the defensive coordinator of this Philadelphia Eagle defense, and he does a heck of a job of mixing up every defense. You see, it's a three-man line, and here comes Hugh Douglas just right there. He just went to the inside. They tried to keep a tight end, David LaFleur, in to block him, and he just went right inside of LaFleur. Brian Mitchell back deep. Micah Knorr, the rookie punter for the Cowboys. Thing they want to do is keep Troy Aikman on the turf and they've done a good start at it. Not a very good kick. And bounds out of bounds at about the 25. Nor didn't get all of it. 754 left to play in the first quarter at Texas Stadium and the Eagles up 7 0. Six weeks before one of the biggest games of my life, I felt a strange pain in my chest. What my doctor found was my toughest opponent yet. Three of my arteries were more than 90% blocked. After recovering from surgery, lowering my high cholesterol became more important than football. Later, I was fortunate enough to coach my team in the biggest game of the season. Along with a healthy diet and regular exercise, taking Zocor every day helps significantly lower my total cholesterol. Zocor is a prescription medication and is not right for everyone, including women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant, or people with liver problems. Your doctor may do blood tests to check for liver problems. Because serious side effects can result, tell your doctor about any muscle pain or weakness you experience while on Zocor and about any medicines you are taking. When diet and exercise are not enough, talk to your doctor about Zocor. 
Take care of yourself. It's your future. Be there. They'll be coming soon. From the creators of the Blair Witch Project. You only see what your mind can handle. Freaky Links premieres Friday, October 6th on Fox. This week on Fox Saturday Baseball, Derek Jeter and the Yankees visit Fenway Park to take on Nomar Garcia Parra and the Red Sox. Or the Padres hope to shut down Barry Bonds and the Giants. Plus other regional action. Fox Saturday Baseball this week, 12.30 Eastern and Pacific. Check your local listings. Staley. Nudges ahead. That win made the stop. And we talked about how Deuce Staley was a guy, three rushes, 25 yards. And then, but how about Donovan McNabb? He's been four out of five for 32 yards. And of course, he got that play pass for the touchdown. All his completions, or all his passes have been under 10 yards. So, what the Eagles are starting here is a, a ball control offense, a running game. Here they have an open backfield, no one in the backfield here. And then the short passing game. McNabb retreats, pass complete to Staley. And Staley breaks one tackle, Staley to midfield, out of bounds. I'll tell you, he's something. He's yeah, a and, demon. And, and we were talking to him Love last night down. about that because we knew that the Eagles were going to use some empty backfield. And you know, and, and but, I mean, he says he that he enjoys this as much as running the ball, just getting the ball in the open field. And you can see when he gets in the open field that he just has complete disdain for those tacklers. I mean, he just took Dexter Coakley, who's a pretty good linebacker, yep. and with one hand, he just goes boom, and he just swatted Coakley away. And the next attempted tackle, he just stepped out of that one. He is something special. First and ten at the 48-yard line of Dallas. Here's McNabb. Up the middle. Incomplete. Intended for Johnson. Thrown a little too hard. That's a tough pass to throw that hard that far. Well, you know, he didn't mean to throw it that far, but he had so much time back there. He just went to I mean, He was looking short. This is one of those things. Usually a guy looks short and then dumps it off. I mean, looks, looks deep and then dumps it off short. He was looking short, and then he dumps it off to Charles Johnson deep. Big Leon led the big cat back in to try to apply some pressure to McNabb. There's big Leon Lett right there. There's a tackle trap. Yeah. And there is Deuce Staley behind the block of Runyon. Yeah, that was the play that they were talking about. Andy Reid said to John Runyon, he says, you want to trap Leon Lett? And he says, yeah, I know where he is. He just runs straight up the field. He said, and I'll take a trap left. John Runyon comes from the right side. You see, they let Leon let go, and John Runyon comes from the right side and really unloads all 340 pounds. Now, out. that is a pretty good trap. I know. Well, he was talking about that. Yeah, he was saying that he wanted to do that. And John Runyon last night, he had a little gleam in his eye when he knew he was going to trap Leon left. Third and three. Here's McNabb. That ball hit the ground first. Caught it on the hop to Chad Lewis, and the Eagles are going to have to punt. Sean Landetta is the Philadelphia Eagle punter. And how long have we been saying that name? He played with the Giants when Bill, Par Bill Parcells was coaching the Giants still. And he still has that ugly single bar face mask that yep. had to be used back in the 1950s. That's a very youthful picture. Bobby Bethard is still upset that he never got Sean Landetta. He said he got every other guy from Towson State. <laughs> he said they didn't get Landetta when he was with the Washington Redskins. Oh, that's a good kick. Sailing down and into the end zone. And the Eagles down it, and the Cowboys will start from their own 20. Philadelphia leading 7 0. But they've been in complete control of this contest. This year, the U.S. Olympic team will put the world's best to the test. And this summer, Cadillac invites you to put its best to the test. And during the Cadillac U.S. Olympic countdown, you'll find now is the right time and the right opportunity. The power of and, the fusion of design and technology. 
Cadillac. What gets us through the lean years? Why do we still hope when greatness has passed us over once again? Because when destiny finally does show up, and she will, we can say, I was here all along. This is why we watch. NFL Sunday Ticket lets you flip through up to 13 channels of NFL football every Sunday on DirecTV. Never miss a moment. Sign up now and also get our best programming package free for three months. NFL Sunday is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper makes the world taste better. By Cadillac, the power of and, the fusion of design and technology. By Northwestern Mutual Financial Network. Are you there yet? And by Visa, the preferred card of the NFL. Visa, it's everywhere NFL fans want to be. That shot might make you think it's nice and cool in Dallas. Yeah, to do that to the fans here. Yeah. Just, just pour some water, hose them down. Damn it. Hugh Douglas stopped him. Aikman has been under pressure. You know, he's been back to pass four times, and they've sacked him three times. And then the other time, he had he was hurried. So you can see that's that's the Eagles plan. But it's always been against Troy Aikman. Oh, sure I mean, it has. The Cowboys know it. Troy Aikman knows it. Jim Johnson, the defensive coordinator, knows he always wants to play Troy Aikman that way. And the Eagles always do this to him. Here's Aikman back to throw. And this time he has time and throws behind Robert Thomas out of the backfield. That wouldn't have been much if it had been completed. Now that wouldn't have been enough for him. You're throwing to a guy who used to be a linebacker a year ago, and that's that's the thing. You know, you can talk about you know you get Joey Galloway and he has great speed. You got Rocky Ismail on the other side. You have James McKnight who has speed as your third wide receiver. But if you can't block for your quarterback, if you can't protect him, all that other stuff is academic. You're throwing it to some linebacker. Chris Warren is now in the backfield. <laughs> Third down. Aikman retreats. And there's another break as Aikman just barely gets rid of it. Incomplete. Joey Galloway, the intended receiver, but Troy took a hit. And they are going after Troy Aikman. Number four. We just watch a stunt here. There's either a blitz or a stunt or something going on all the time. I mean, when they get a shot at him, they really take it. That, that, that was Jeremiah Trotter there. Well, uh, Jim Johnson said last night, if you don't go, you'll never know. <laughs> That's right. And they've been going since they got off the bus here today. Yeah, they really have. It, it looks like everything they're doing is a half a beat quicker than Dallas Cowboys. Oh, this kick was almost blocked. Micah Norris kick. This is Brian Mitchell to return it. Mitchell has long been one of the best. Gets up to the 40. Ike Reese almost blocked it. Seven nothing Philadelphia leading. This man right here is my great grandfather. He's the first cat herder in our family. Herding cats. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy. Anybody can herd cattle. Holding together 10,000 half wild short hairs. Well, that's another thing altogether. Being a cat herder is probably about the toughest thing I think I've ever done. I got this one this morning, right here. And if you look at his face, it's Maybe. just ripped to shreds, you know? You see the movies, you, you hear the stories. It's, I'm living a dream. Not everyone can do what we do. I wouldn't do nothing else. It ain't an easy job, but when you bring a herd into town and you ain't lost a one of them, ain't a feeling like it in the world. EDS, managing the complexities of e-business. Dance with me. He prepares methodically. You mind? <laughs> Perfect. 
there's a ritual that he follows. You're very pretty. Don't play hard again. This man's whole life is about killing. This will be fun. Don't hurt me. He mailed me a picture of her still alive. James Spader, Marissa Tomei, Keanu Reeves. The Watcher, rated R, starts Friday. It's your breakfast table. It's your car. Take it to Midas for a free oil change when you purchase lifetime Midas brakes. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. Keep a good thing going. Go Midas. At Texas Stadium, Pat Summerall with John Madden. Earlier this afternoon, the temperature down on the playing surface was over 180 degrees. That's one of those things you can't really comprehend unless you go down there. And you were down there. I watched you down there. You were down there in your blazer. I didn't stay there long. This is Staley stopped by that win. Yeah, we were talking about how the it just seems like the Eagles are about a half a beat in every area quicker than the Cowboys are today and they're just taking to them I mean, especially on defense I mean they're getting those inside moves they're getting those shoulders they're getting inside the shoulders they're doing all those things and they're beating the Cowboys by a half a step in every area second and nine Stay again. another couple of yards stopped by Spellman and Darren Woodson Staley is going to be one tired son of a gun tomorrow. I would I would think that you have to really measure how many times you run him especially in the first half. I think that in this game you're going to need Deuce Staley at the end of the third quarter and into the fourth quarter to have some freshness to win this game for you. The Eagles lead it seven nothing. Three thirty one left in the first. McNabb points and retreats. McNabb has all the time in the world. He gives it to Staley, and Staley is near a first down, and I think with the last surge, he got it. And that's the way he plays. I mean, Deuce Staley always plays if there's one more surge, and he's never down. I mean, he's always going to play until he gets that first down. He does it as a runner, and we see him doing it as a, as a pass receiver. But the Cowboys you know, are not getting to McNabb at all. I mean, he's had time. Remember on that yeah, last series, yeah. he had so much time, he threw a deep one to Charles Johnson, who was about his fourth read. Well, Pepe Zellner, some fresh legs in to try to put some heat on McNabb. Depends on what kind of talent those fresh legs bring yeah. with them. Because this is a pretty good offensive line. You know, I mean, we talked about John Runyon, the right tackle, and He's brought a certain amount of nastiness, they yes. say, to this offensive line. And, and it's contagious. It is contagious. And you can see, you know, Trey Thomas, you know, the left tackle is a better player now. They got John Wellborn, who was a tackle, is starting now at left guard. He beat out Brzezinski. In fact, there's Wellborn right there. I, I kind of, he went to the University of California. Listen to this. Went to the University of California. He's a guard. He's a big old offensive lineman. Was a tackle last year and majored in rhetoric. Now, what in the heck is a major in rhetoric at U UC Berkeley? Yep. And that that would there's a degree in rhetoric. And well, now what is you know what rhetoric is? I think it's what you do. You know, when you just talk a lot, you do. You know, like like someone says that guy's full of rhetoric. Yeah. Well, all it does is talk rhetoric. I think it's. I think it's. I don't know. It's talking. I think. Here's Deuce Staley. And Deuce knocked out of bounds. Watch out. By Ryan McNeil over the bench. Over the ball bag. With all that equipment they've got down there with an attempt to stay somewhat cool. Yeah, I would I would think that you know, a lot of it, debris. You know, when it comes on your sideline, someone should have caught Deuce Staley. Yep. I mean, you know, you know, at this point you can't go out in the field, but someone there should have caught him. They all get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, someone, you know, they're trying there. They're trying to catch him, but they don't catch him until he's over the bench. I think that was Harold Carmichael. Harold, Harold couldn't bend down that low. <laughs> That's right. That's Brian Mitchell. And Mitchell to the Dallas 35. George Teague made the hit. There's Staley. Stop by number 31. I think they're checking uh, Staley's right leg yeah, there. Yeah. 
you don't know if he twisted her or if he hit it there in the bench but that's something that they don't need right now. Well it looked earlier as if he were cramping a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see half the players cramp. I would either. That's George Teague. George Teague is a guy that just hit Brian Mitchell. Yeah. That was a heck of a collision. I'm not sure if George Teague hit Brian Mitchell or the reverse. Well, they both. I mean, they were they were like a head-on collision there. And you're going to see it. I mean, Brian Mitchell is a is a run finisher. George Teague is a pretty good tackler. And right there, I mean, Teague did tackle him. Teague yeah. got underneath his shoulder. Yeah. Usually the guy that gets the lowest is the guy that wins. Teague got the lowest, but he didn't win. There were a couple of whiplashes there by Teague and by the ball carrier. Yeah, that was like your grandfather years ago. What whip, whip saw. He got whip saw. Yeah. That was. But that was in a sawmill. Yeah, I think old, he didn't know what football was. Uh, Brian Mitchell there just put a whip saw on Teague. There's Deuce Staley. This is what happened to him earlier. Play right here, and you don't see there. I mean, it doesn't look like he twisted anything. I mean, he's standing on his head yeah. at one point. And that's the old heels overhead. But I think if he hurt anything, it was when when the leg when the leg hit the bench. Got a gash on his shin, we're told. And then that would have been when the leg hit the bench. Yeah. Cecil Martin is in the backfield. Here's McNabb stepping up in the pocket, and McNabb, who can run, pressure for the first time from Ecubon. That was the thing. See, they 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 know that they want to get pressure, and then when he stays there, then come back to the inside. You see the way Ecubon is right there because they know that when McNabb looks. He has a clock in his head, and when he's going to take off, he takes off straight up the middle, which is kind of unusual. Right, so they want to come up the field, and then, you know, about that time to go underneath their block to block off that middle for McNabb to run. Brian Mitchell, the deep back. McNabb fakes left, started to screen it, and now he's going to take off. McNabb grabbed around the head just before he went down, Brian Mitchell who always seems to be in some kind of a scuffle is in another one at the end of the play and it's always at the end of the play with Brian Mitchell yep. remember all those years with the Redskins yes. whatever happened you'd have to stay on Brian Mitchell and we were talking about how players are going to continue to tramp that's that's Darren Woodson there and I think we're going to see that all day see this is a fake screen left screen right now the fake screen left he faked, he went to the right, the screen wasn't there, so he did what? Boom, right up the middle. And you know, got very close to a first down. Yeah, you know, and he's one of those guys like like Steve Young. I mean, he, he takes yep. a collapse job there. Yeah. He's one of those guys like Steve Young that when he runs, he's as good a runner as a running back. You just look at him, he doesn't look that big. That's Darren Woodson, who plays very big. But Donovan McNabb is 6'2", close to 230. That's ice going on Deuce Staley. You know, we we're just talking about how you have to kind of measure your plays and keep some guys out and maybe have them for that third and fourth yep. quarter. And this is what that time of possession is so big, you know, that you say, you know, it's only seven to nothing here, but this defense of the Cowboys isn't a strength of their team this year and they're going to start wearing down quickly. I mean we're still in the first quarter and they've been out there a lot of that first quarter. Well they're doing their best and did do have done their best to get fresh legs on the field but as hot as it is it's going to be hard to find a pair. A little bit short of a first down. 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Dominated by the Eagles. Yeah, from the from the first start, if you look here, look at Philadelphia has had the ball 10 minutes, 31 seconds, and 20 plays, and that means that the Dallas defense of the 15 minutes in the quarter have been out there over 10 minutes of it. It's third and short with 28 seconds left. 
in the first quarter and the Eagles leading by a touchdown the clock's running and the Eagles need about well, about a foot for a first Martin and Pritchett are the two backs behind McNabb just have to get to the yellow line McNabb fake fires up the middle and complete and there's a flag on the play Johnson the intended receiver flags came flying from everywhere yeah that was one that the Cowboys really covered well though because it's, it's going to be interference so the ball's going to be on the one yard line but but the Cowboys had that well covered because they went play pass and then they were trying to get the ball deep and they had him double covered and Donovan McNabb threw right That's into it number 43 defense in the end zone Uh, you'll see Izell Reese is number 43 there, and you see he runs into him, and he's not looking at the ball. Charles Johnson was trying to reach back Izell Williams. Now, if he would have been looking back, he would have been okay. But he wasn't looking back. He had they had good position. I mean, they were inside out on him. Deuce Staley is back in the game. Staley is the deep back, and the handoff is to Deuce Staley. And he nudged it into the end zone for the Eagles' second touchdown. They lead it 13 0 with the extra point to come. At one minute, you see he has the socks down. They're putting ice on him. They're doing all this stuff. And the next thing they know, when you get down there, I mean, that penalty was a 25 yard penalty, but you get these opportunities, you got to bang it in there. And who's going to bang it in there for you? This guy right here. As you said earlier, one of the most underrated. Backs in the NFL. He's Not underrated in Philadelphia, though. Yeah, he's the heart and soul of this offense. The extra point by Akers is good. It's 14 0. As the first quarter is about to come to a close, two seconds left on the scoreboard clock. Southwest Airlines brings freedom to the next week. It's a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader beginning with Terry Howie, JB, and Chris on America's favorite pregame show. Then Michael Strahan and the Giants take on the Eagles, followed by the Rams battle against the Seahawks, plus other regional matchups. And we want to call special attention to those of you in Denver who, for the first time, will get a bonus early game prior to the Falcons Broncos matchup. So be sure to make it a full day of football action right here on Fox starting at noon Eastern 9 Pacific next Sunday. Check your local listings. Someone getting their their shoes cut off. He's got to have shoes. Yep. Trey Thomas. Remember there was a famous game. I forget what it was. And it was real hot like this. And it was the 49ers played in it. And I think maybe it was in St. Louis. But half their team lost the first and second layer of skin on their feet. This is Jason Tucker. There's a flag on the play as he had some room. Jason Tucker looked like there for a second, and he had a lot of room, didn't he? Yes, he did. But a flag on the play is holding against Dallas. But the Cowboys are glad this first quarter of football is know. over. It's been a nightmare. Dave Campo in his first game as a head coach ever started off and they get an onside kick against him and he's down 14 Holding. to nothing in the Number quarter. 44 during the return it's a 10 yard penalty and that is the end of the first quarter. Change Robert eight. Thomas that's the end of the first quarter with the score the Eagles 14 the Cowboys nothing Fox NFL Sunday from Dallas will continue after these messages. on that internet stock. 
and that lakefront property. Well, now, during the Chrysler 2000 final clearance, you can make up for it with our biggest cash allowances of the year on new 2000 models, up to a $3,000 cash allowance on Chrysler minivans, or you can get over $4,000 in cash and finance savings. Hey, you passed on that chain of coffee houses, so get to the Chrysler 2000 final clearance, only at your Chrysler dealer. We love to see you smile. At McDonald's, every order is made hot, fresh, right to order. So I'm not just making a burger. I'm making your burger. And for a limited time, when you buy a big, luscious quarter pounder with cheese, get a second one for just 25 cents. Only a quarter for the great taste of McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese. That's two delicious reasons to smile. We love to see you smile. Buy a quarter pounder with cheese at the regular price and get a second one for a quarter. This fall, John Goodman has a confession to make. I'm a big girl. John Goodman stars in Normal Ohio, a new comedy coming to Fox. Here's the penalty on the kickoff return. Watch Robert Thomas here. He was a linebacker, switched to a fullback, but once a linebacker, always a linebacker. Watch the job that he does here. Bolton, that's a tackle. Then it's a takedown. Then it's a pin. But I'm not, I'm not sure it should have been a penalty. It looked like a very good block. This is Emmett Smith looking for some play. I think he, he grabbed him with both hands and took him down is what it was. Well, I guess that is a penalty. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the, and the Cowboys, remember, they led the league in penalties last year. Right. Look at this first quarter here. These are big things. Look at this. Nine first downs for the Eagles, only two for the Cowboys. And the Cowboys already in one quarter have been sacked three times. Look at the passing yards for Dallas. Minus 20. Well, every time he goes back to pass, he's been on his back. Yeah. On second down, it's Emmett Smith. And Emmett. Right now, I'm sure he's very warm, but let's go down to DJ Johnson. Hey, you know, the temperature's starting to change a little bit down here. The Ingles bench is in the shade now, and the Cowboys are still out in the sun. Now, before the game, we talked to Cowboys coach Dave Campo. He said this is something his team should be prepared for. He said for the past four months, they practice in this weather. So if anybody's going to be ready, they should be. Now, uh, before the game, I pointed out to Troy Aikman that in the middle of the field, the temperature is 175 degrees. He shrugged it off and said, hey, just tell me what the temperature is in the end zone. Back up to you, Pat. All right, DJ, thank you. Cowboys train up at Wichita Falls. And this pass is picked off by Jeremiah Trotter. Touchdown at Philadelphia. Well, it looks like the Cowboys have been getting too ready for the weather, not ready for the Philadelphia Eagles. Isn't that because they're taking it to them in every area you can take it to them. Jeremiah Trotter is one of those guys that is going to be a very good middle linebacker in a day. I mean, I mean, you start here, he starts at middle linebacker. He starts here, and he's just reading the zone. He's going out, and when Troy Aikman turns, he turns, and he moves to that thing, and he's right on that. You say he's going to be. I think he's going to be a top middle linebacker. Yeah. I mean, he's a, you know, he started out special teams guy, became a starter, is a very good starter, and I think he's soon to be a top middle linebacker. He's from Hooks, Texas, not too far away. I think you'd have to be tough if you're from Hooks, Texas. You know who else is from Hooks, Texas? Remember the great Billy Sims? Billy Sims, yeah. Yeah. That's 21 nothing. A long, long first quarter, and so far the second quarter for Troy Aikman. It's called a what? It's called a silicon chip. Look, we're gonna change everything. Come on, John, we just need to raise 300 bucks. Are you in? Sorry, man, I kinda got plans for that cash. Never missed a great opportunity? Here's a chance to redeem yourself. Until September 5th, buy or lease a Lexus for unbelievable values. The Lexus Golden Opportunity. Don't let this one pass you by. Hey, guys, new A-Track player. While there, see the new IS at your Lexus dealer. Thank you for shopping at Foot Locker. No problem. Thanks, Doc. Thanks. Those are sales? Hey, Mark, you order all this food? Yeah, anywhere. And I don't have any money. I can't cash for Your dinner, you pay for it. We're trying to get a little work done here. Mark, 
Can you add it on to whatever I'm paying you to live here? Sort of like room service? <laughs> yeah. What's this look like? A holiday inn? <laughs> <laughs> You want room service? You got it. Holiday Inn gives you more, and more is better. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Lexus in our relentless pursuit of perfection. By the United States Marine Corps, the change is forever. By Bud Light, for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. And by Avaya, communication without boundaries. That's the way the Cowboys have looked so far. 21 to nothing. The Eagles have taken it to them. Well, you know, they set the tempo. They yep. set the tempo by knocking Troy Aikman down. And then on that last one, Troy Aikman was just looking all the way at his receiver, and Jeremiah Trotter just read him perfectly. Here's Akers' kickoff. It's going to be handled by Jason Tucker at about the two. Tucker. Tripped up at about the 28. Here's the last Eagle touchdown. If you watch Jeremiah Trotter, you're going to see he's right here. Watch as Troy Aikman goes back. He starts to look this way. Trotter starts to come this way. The ball's thrown, and he gets a jump on it. Watch as he starts. He's just playing zone. He starts out, starts out. Now Aikman is looking that way and turns that way. Jeremiah Trotter just jumps right in front of it. That's the thing. I think they yes. got. I think they got Troy Aikman a little shook up, and now he feels that he has to get rid of the ball quickly, and he's starting to look at just one receiver. The one back. Well, now they're two backs. Thomas in front of Emmett Smith. Here comes that blitz again, and Emmett Smith is tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Damon Moore. And yeah, that's the thing that you know, we talk about Jim Johnson and how he's going to move everything around and he brings the safeties up and and they and they try and hit that thing perfectly. They try and you know let those those linemen get on linemen and linebackers and then hit a free gap. And that's exactly what happened on that play. You know you have blitzes for the run and you also I mean you have blitzes for the pass but you also have blitzes for the run. Second and 11. Aikman fires outside incomplete. And Aikman's on his and back again. Ishmael. I'll tell you, that's that's the thing. We just showed a picture there of Jim yep. Johnson, the defensive coordinator. And he said, you know, when you blitz, he said, sometimes you're going to knock the guy down. Sometimes you're going to sack him. But this hurry is a big thing too, because when you hurry the guy and the you know that is a timing offense, then they don't have their timing. You see, the minute that he feels that he gets in that back foot and the ball has to come out, whap, there's someone right in his face. It's third and eleven, and Aikman, when he's gotten rid of the ball, has had to throw off his back foot every time. Here they come again, and down he goes again. Darling and Aikman stays down a long time here. Well, eventually they have to do something about this or he's going to stay down a lot longer. Yes, he is. I mean, they have to, they either have to get their running game going or they have to get their pass protection going. But it's tough to do when it's 21 to nothing. But they have to remember that they have plenty of time. You know, they don't have to pressure. They don't have to rush. They don't have to do anything stupid because they have plenty of time to do it. But they do have to start establishing something. Micah Knorr. Back to punt for Dallas, left foot. Brian Mitchell will field it. It's a high kick. He signals fair catch and makes it. The Eagles will take over at their own 36. 12, 12 left to play. Left to play in the first half. Philadelphia 21, Dallas nothing. Which of the following providers of dial-up internet services has the largest active subscriber base? Not AT&T. Not Microsoft. Not Prodigy. Not Net Zero. It's Juno. To create the most realistic football games means working with the pros. Sometimes that can lead to problems. Marshall, one fumble clip. Just one. No, I don't fumble. Just one time. No. I mean, just. I do not fumble. Fortunately, we're real problem solvers. Hey, Marshall! Rated E for everyone. Ah! 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 
At Texaco, a number of our employees also coach kids, and they tell us life on the playing field is not much different than life in the Texaco oil fields. You don't always hit the target. The weather doesn't always cooperate. And sometimes, when you wonder how you'll ever find the energy to go on, you just dig down a little deeper. And there it is, Texaco, a proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. Which of the following providers of dial-up internet services ranks among the top three in terms of active subscribers? Not Microsoft, not AT&T, not Net Zero, not Prodigy. It's Juno. Jeter and the Yanks, Nomar and the Bozox, Fox Saturday Baseball, this week. 21 nothing. The Eagles lead Dallas. They were just checking Troy Aikman. Well, it's just a matter of time. I mean, you look, he's been sacked four times, hurried six times, and hit six times, and they, they were looking right here. You can see the yep. looking in his eyes, and you know that he has a history of concussions. And that's the first thing you think they're checking for. McNabb. Incomplete. And you know, the funny thing is, or not the funny thing, the ironic thing is that that the Eagles are just the opposite. I mean, Donovan McNabb has had all kinds of time. Yes, we see had. Randall Cunningham, the backup quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, warming up now. And the ex-Eagle. I would, I would suspect that that there may be something in that check that they were doing because he's starting to get serious about it now. And if if there is a concussion, of course, Troy Aikman's not going to be back. That's Deuce Staley. Right now for an update, let's return to James Brown in Los Angeles. Pat and John, what a day for Tiki Barber of the New York Giants. Take a look at this second quarter run, 78 yards to pay dirt. He had 144 yards and two touchdowns on the day as the Giants, a team that Terry picks to do well, went on to win it 21-16. Back to Pat and John. Third and six back at Texas Stadium, Philadelphia leading Dallas 21-0. Cowboys have been able to get nothing going on offense. Now McNabb is pointing for the Eagles. The clock is running down, and he just does get it off. Look at the time he has. And yeah. He just tucks it away and trots out of bounds for a first down. And they have this Cowboy defense worn down. You know, you can just see that 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 they're not getting a rush here. And then when McNabb starts to run, there's no one that can really chase him. See the protection. Look at the pop pocket there. That's a perfect pocket. Yeah. Then then there was no one open, and he just took off. And then there was still no one open, so he just kind of runs for a first down and steps out of bounds. That's that's looking way too easy this early in the game. First and ten, Philadelphia at the Dallas 49. Here's Hugh Stanley, hit hard by Darren Hambrick. They played together in college. Yep, that was D Ham and Captain H. Yep. And he just he just hit him right there. It looked like, in fact, Deuce Daly saying that was my fault, but I don't think so. I think he ran into a stunt. I think that Hambrick was stunting into the hole that Deuce Daly was running in. Second and twelve. Staley is the deep back. McNabb to throw it. Pulls it down. McNabb lofted in it to the pack. Dad Wynn had a chance and maybe could have gone if he'd been able to hold on. That should have been an interception. Yeah, and that's that's the type of play the Cowboys need. I mean, they need something to turn this momentum around. You can see they're still checking Troy Aikman. We know that. As we said, he's had a history of concussions. In fact, he's had six concussions. Well, Randall Cunningham, who's the backup, was warming up. He's had tendonitis in his right arm. And he's the only backup quarterback the Cowboys have. Right, if they had to go to a desperation quarterback, it would be Joey Galloway. Here's Staley. And Staley 
Look at him go. Down inside the Cowboy 35. First down tripped up by Izell Reese. Deuce Staley has moves on moves, doesn't he? He really something. And again, but they've been quicker, this this offense, and, and Deuce Staley's been quicker than this defense all day. You see, I mean, they get shots in, and and he's just too quick for him. I mean, he's making moves, and he's running by him and through him, and part of it is missing tackles, but a bigger part of it is Deuce Staley making him miss. He's just too quick, as you said. He's already had 12 carries, and he has 68 yards. Mitchell replaces Deuce Staley. Running back spot, here's McNabb. Fires it out of bounds. The one thing the Cowboys are, are starting a, a rookie corner Kareem Larimore and everyone thought that that's who they'd work on because in preseason they were doing that everyone was throwing against Larimore and and it doesn't look like that's part of the Eagles plan nor do they need that part of a plan. Ryan McNeil is the veteran he's the other cornerback. Troy Aikman doesn't look like he's able to shake no. that does he no. you, know, you can tell when you get that that concussion type of thing you know you keep trying to get out of it and you keep trying to get out of it and you just don't come out of it as is caught by Todd Pinkston in front of McNeil Todd Pinkston is the rookie he was a second round draft choice for the Eagles he's their third wide receiver I think Torrance Small had a hamstring earlier. Earlier, yes. So it's third and two. 8.50 left in the second quarter. The distribution for McNabb. Yeah, he's moved it around pretty well. Six to his wide receivers, three to his tight ends, and four to his running backs. Mitchell swings out in motion, and the ball comes out to him. And Mitchell throws the ball over his right shoulder if they mark it where he put the ball down that'll be a first down. You know, one thing is uh, you know the Philadelphia Eagles didn't show a lot in preseason right. and, and I think all those things that they didn't show in preseason they're showing now. And the, I mean the you know all those blitzes that we've seen get to Troy Aikman all this empty backfield all these you know substitutions there. They've been practicing on this and just not using it in games. I think all the teams have been doing that. Staley moves up to the halfback spot. McNabb throws it out. The Torrance small and he maybe got a yard. That's what you have to do with that play. I think in the NFL, uh, you know, screens are getting to be a bigger and bigger thing. And uh, Chicago Bears probably run more screens than anyone else. And I know that it's going to be a bigger part of the Eagles offense this year. And when you get those screen screens and those quick passes out like that, you have to have good tackle. I mean, like Ryan McNeil come up and made that tackle, so that play was a nothing play. Second down nine. Second and nine. McNabb fakes and throws in the end zone incomplete. Intended for or in the direction of Torrance Small. Troy Aikman is headed for the locker room. So when the Cowboys get the ball again, it'll be Randall Cunningham. And you could just feel that, and you could darn near see it coming. Yeah. Started out, and every time Troy Aikman went back to throw, uh, they were knocking him down to the turf. Never did complete a pass. And, you know, he knows he has a history of concussions, and you know that the Eagles were going to put pressure on him, and that's the way they play it. They always do, and they did it again. Shuttle pass. It's time to Luther Broughton. The tight end shuttle behind the line took the forward pass from quarterback McNabb play that's been rather common lately yeah, and then McNabb runs this well I mean it's not good enough for a first down see what you do is you is you pull a lineman around and then the guy that you pull it was it was Mayberry the right guard when he pulled he missed his block if, if Mayberry makes that block that could have possibly been a first down here's David Akers from 33 yards out Plenty of distance and good. The Eagles move further ahead, 24 to nothing. A 
acres successful from 33 yards away and it's the Eagles 24 Dallas nothing. Relentless training, endless preparation, setbacks and comebacks have created this finely tuned machine. But in the end, even a machine can break down. There are no limits to the dreams of Olympic athletes and none to those who witness them. With Visa, the only card accepted at the Sydney Olympic Games. In 1979, the rookie showed up at football training camp. His new teammates took one look at his long, frizzy hair and his Fu Manchu mustache. They thought they were looking at some future place kicker. What they were really looking at was their future. Expect more from an original, original Coors, brewed with Rocky Mountain water. Don't overlook an original, original Coors. We should bottle this stuff. We could charge more than gas. We'd be rich. Yeah. We'll call it Larry's water. Water's free, man. Ever missed a great opportunity? Here's a chance to redeem yourself. Until September 5th, buy or lease a Lexus for unbelievable values. The Lexus Golden Opportunity. Don't let this one pass you by. That was a great idea, Larry. While there, see the new IS at your Lexus dealer. From James Cameron, director of Aliens, The Terminator, and Titanic, comes the two-hour television event. Barcode on your neck. I know who you are. I know who you're running from. Dark Angel, the series premiere, Tuesday, October 3rd on Fox. Randall Cunningham, who a couple of years ago in Minnesota looked like he was going to be the Viking quarterback forever. Word on Troy Aikman is that he does have a concussion, and it's questionable whether or not he'll be back. Tucker. If Troy Aikman has a concussion, there's no way he's going to be back. No. He's had six. And you just see how it uh, started. I mean, it could have been any one play, but you can just see it's not only the hits when you get hit in the head, but it's that whole snapping of the head. And then the body and the head hitting the turf. It uh, could be a combination of many hits. Yeah, you know, and here comes Randall Cunningham, who so many years was a Philadelphia Eagle quarterback for so many great years. Well, he holds a lot of Eagle passing records career-wise. And followed that with those great years in Minnesota after a year out of football. Chris Warren, let's go down to DJ Johnson again. Hey guys, I got to take a look at Troy Aikman as he walked off the field, and uh, you know I played in the NFL for eight years, and I've seen that look before, sort of glassy-eyed, and and you know I, I'd be surprised if he came back in. Like I said, I've I've been a victim of that before, and I've seen it before, so I'd be very surprised if I came back in. He just didn't have that that look in his eyes like he would return. Back up to you, Pat and John. Well, if he's got a concussion, he's not coming back. No, and then and then you wonder, you know, how about next week, the week yep. after that, the week after that, the month after that? I mean, we're talking something that could be more serious here than just meets the eye as Cunningham stumbles getting away throws to Jackie Harris for a loss Bobby Taylor up quickly you know, Randall Cunningham of course this is his first year with the Cowboys and as you said he had a, a bad arm missed a lot of training camp didn't play much in the preseason and they have a, a special set of plays for him You're they right. give him the game plan and they let him circle the plays that he likes and then those were the plays that they would use if they had to use him and now they have to use him and those are the plays they're going to be using and he has no backup as you mentioned Joey Galloway is the third quarterback and Cunningham that's the one thing he can do is get away from the pressure he's always been able to run yeah and that's 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 a way that they may be able to use that speed that's Pepe Zellner who's walking toward that locker room as well. I'm not sure what's what's the problem with him. Well, you know, I mean, uh, one of the problems today that a lot of these players are going to have is dehydration. Yes, yeah, sure. And then when they get dehydrated, then they take them in and they, they give them an IV. And I'll bet you there will be a lot of players getting IVs at halftime of this game. 
Micah Knorr back to punt. Line drive to Brian Mitchell. And he'll have a chance to do some work with this one. Gets up to about the 41 where the Eagles will take over in good shape again. Flag on the play. Way back down the field. Yeah, you had the feeling this whole game, I mean, from the beginning of the game, from the onside kick on, that, 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 that the Eagles were more ready to play today than the Dallas Cowboys. Well, the onside kick worked so perfectly to start things. And then, and then on offense, they looked like they were just a little quicker on defense, a step quicker. Holding number 56 during the uh, during the kick. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot where they gained possession of a ball. It'll be a first down for Philadelphia. Timeout. This is the way the game started. I mean, an onside kick, yep. and, and boom, it works. And I think Andy Reid made an aggressive call there, and the Eagles have been aggressive ever since. Yup. 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 I need a car. Shopping for a used car will never be the same. No. A convertible. A red one. With under 15,000 miles. Welcome to Autotrader.com. With a million and a half used cars updated daily, it's the biggest, best used car site on the planet. You couldn't help me with a loan, could you? Can we help you? Autotrader.com. Your car is waiting. It's your breakfast table. It's your car. Take it to Midas for a free oil change when you purchase lifetime Midas brakes. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. Keep a good thing going. Go Midas. We'd like to show you scenes of the new series from the award-winning creator of Sex and the City. But it's early and kids may be watching. Well, there's a lot of crime. The Street, Fox Fall. Just over four and a half minutes left in the first half. Andy Reid certainly brought his troops in here ready, didn't he? He sure did, and, and in all areas. We talked about, we just showed that onside kick, which is a special team. Yep. Play their, their offense. I mean, their protection for McNabb has been outstanding. Deuce Staley has, you know, had some great holes and made some great runs. Their pressure that they put on, 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 on Troy Aikman was just unbelievable. I mean, they came from everywhere. I mean, they, they, they bring linebackers, they bring defensive backs they, they get an overload on every side and, and their mixture has been perfect first and ten the Eagles at their own 19 Staley no game I was talking to John Runyon last time <laughs> talking about furniture yeah. here's a guy that's six foot seven and 340 pounds and he said you know I just look for something when I plop on it, it doesn't crack. And I, you know, I understand that. I mean, I, I've been there, but you know, they don't make, I don't know how they make furniture. They get like the size of chairs and the size of that, but they're making it for like 30 or 40. I don't, I don't think they've changed their standards for sizes of chairs and furniture. Well, they don't make it for guys like him. Yeah, but they have to. They should, but that's got to be special. Yeah, that, but, they, uh, but they have to start. I mean, if you look at all these players, I mean, they're not all as big as old John Runyon, but, you know, people are getting bigger today. And then, but the furniture has never really grown with the people that are getting bigger. Not not many people get a lot bigger than John Runyon. No, no. You know, he didn't play, he didn't play he basketball. basketball player. Yeah, he was a basketball player his freshman and, and sophomore year in high school. He didn't, he didn't start playing football. Until his junior year in high school, and I think it was because his mother wouldn't let him play. That's right. Said the coach stopped by his house every day. Pass is picked off by the Cowboys by Isaiah Reese. That was a heck of an interception. That was a heck of a catch by Isaiah Reese. That ball was drilled in there, and he was coming up, and he just caught that thing with two hands. Well, it's not the time to dance. Your team is losing 24 to nothing. But they needed a momentum changer. Yes, they needed they something. I mean, they've been getting 
whipped every way you could get whipped, and they need something like this. They need, you know, to, to pick off one. They need to get a fumble. They need to get a big play. They just have to get that first one on the board. And I've always said the first score in a game is always the toughest one for you. I agree with you. We didn't need all that celebration. And when you're down 24 to nothing, you know, get in the ball game first and do some celebrating. He was down on the ground, but the reason he was down on the ground was because he collided with the teammate. Right. He wasn't. That's he wasn't down by contact of an opponent. Right. That's why he could get up and run. First to ten. Randall Cunningham drops the throw and fires incomplete intended for Galloway. Bobby Taylor, the defender. The one thing Randall Cunningham can't have any timing with these receivers at all, so he's just going to have to rely on his experience. You know, in here, and, and he's getting pretty good protection. Though. I mean, that's that's a thing that Troy Aikman didn't have. You see that that ball was tipped before that it ever got out there by Brian Dawkins. Now there's another good player. You know, you talk about yeah. underrated players and guys. Brian Dawkins fits into that category. The Eagles have some good players on this. Yes, club. they do. And quite a few of them. And they're a young team as well. Now there's just miscommunication between the receivers. You were talking about that. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. I mean, Randall Cunningham was was throwing an out pattern and Joey Galloway was running a deep pattern. But Randall Cunningham's not bad at that. I mean he nope. can he can play that that schoolyard football where he can just tell you know a Joey Galloway Joey Galloway you go do this and I'll throw it to you. I mean he can do that type of thing. A rocket you do this in his early years that's what he did. And as you say he was very good at it. Here comes that blitz. Cunningham gets rid of it complete to Ishmael but far short of a first down and here comes the field goal unit. And that had to be far short of a, a first down because Randall Cunningham got that pressure and those hits that Troy Aikman tasted earlier. Tim Cedar, a new kicker for the Cowboys. That seems to be a yearly, a yearly occurrence. Look at this. this is his first field goal attempt since 1997 with Ashland University. Yep. He sent a tape to Steve Hoffman, the kicking coach, and he brought it out a couple of years later and brought him in and gave him a try. And he puts the Cowboys on the scoreboard inside the right upright from 34 yards away. Dave Campo gets his first score as a head coach. James Cameron, the director of the Terminator, brings you his new series, Dark Angel. Our premiere kicks off on Tuesday, October the 3rd, 9, 8 Central, here on Fox. You know, sometimes you could get so worried about the weather, and the weather is tough. I mean, yep. this, is, this is as tough a weather as you can have to play in, and both of these teams are playing in the same weather. But sometimes you can get... Were you worried about that or thinking about that or talking about that so much that you forget the opponent and as we all know ultimately and eventually you have to go out there and beat the other guy. That was always Bud Grant's theory up in Minnesota when they played outdoors. You don't worry about the cold. Well that was kind of one of the saying I used to always say and I think it just covered everything. The last thing I'd say when I was coaching the Raiders before we went out on the field is don't worry about the horse being blind just load the wagon. I've heard you say that. Yeah and I think that covers everything. Where okay. do you where do you take the wagon after you load it. No you, you don't you don't worry about the horse being blind just load the wagon. In other <laughs> words load the wagon that's playing the game. You don't worry about anything else. You don't worry about the fans. You don't worry about the noise. You don't worry about anything. You just go whip the other team. Cedar to kick off. And it's going to be Brian Mitchell at the one. Mitchell to the 30. Broke a tackle at about the 20. And there's a cowboy lying there. Coming up on the Visa Halftime Report, J.B., Terry, Howie, and Chris will have scores and highlights from around the league. And our Fox Sports ticker will have up to the second stats. That's all coming up on the Visa Halftime Report. Now we talked about time of possession, and you know, some people say it's a meaningless stat. Some people say it's one of the most important. I'm not sure which it is, but on a hot day like this, it does mean something. I mean, this Cowboy defense 
has been out there way too much in his first half. That's going to wear him down. And here's Goose Staley. He'll wear you down. He gets the first down. Wrapped up by George Teague. Randall Cunningham checking his right, his throwing hand. Yeah, remember that that last play that he was in. Yep. He got a, he got blitzed, and he got and two guys got to him just after he threw the ball. I think his hand was the first thing that hit the ground. And remember, the Cowboys are one of the few teams that only carry two quarterbacks. And so, if they had to use another quarterback, that guy would be Joey Galloway, their wide receiver. And he hasn't had a lot of experience recently at quarterback. In fact, uh, they practice some plays with him, and he doesn't even have a pass play. I mean, all the all the plays that he's had were just taking the ball and handing it off. Two minutes to play in the first half at Texas Stadium, 24-3 Philadelphia. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Energizer E Squared, the battery with a heart of titanium. Hey guys, check this out. Wow. How do you think it got here? I don't know. Yeah, uh, what do you think we should do with it? We can't leave it here. Well, is it dead? I don't know. Let's see if it's cold. Go on. Huh? It's cold. Getting lucky? Grab a Miller Lite. It's Miller time. Push, guys. Push. This is an ordinary cell phone. This is Nextel. And it's going to change the way you do business thanks to Direct Connect, its digital two-way radio feature. Frank? Not yet. It ensures instant contact. Bridget? Got it. Cost a fraction of cellular. It just passed. And it makes other cell phones... Ready now. Obsolete. Direct Connect from Nextel. How business gets done. Sign up for a Nextel National Business Plan by September 30th and get free incoming cellular calls. Welcome. Nice place. Is that Evander Holyfield? Pardon? It's kind of a funny story. Lassie saved my life, so... Oh. And there's you and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she's great. What a cook. Wish you could add a little something to your photographs? With the Gateway Photoware Package, we'll teach you all about digital photography. Visit one of our 300 stores or call us, featuring the AMD Athlon processor. Uh, nuts? Crazy Ray, he's been with around the Cowboys for years and years and years, and he doesn't look uh, like he's. In spite of what he's got on his head, he's not too cool. You know, this is this is not. You know, we talk about how tough this is for the for the players, but this is no day at the beach for, for some of these fans sitting out in this sun. Here's Staley, across the 45, 47, make it. Here's Staley. Tackle by number 96. I think Duce is one of those guys that you just put in there and you don't even worry about. <laughs> he's a warrior. And if you just yeah. look at the things that he's done here today, I mean, he's, and I said from the beginning of the game that he's been a half a step quicker than everyone else out on the field. He's just making everyone miss. And he's done it, you know, running, running inside, outside, pass catching. He's not going to be denied, is he? No, he's not. He's one of those guys who enjoys playing. McNabb. Take it down by Alonzo Spellman. Alonzo put the pressure on. Well, they're finally you know, you're starting to get a little pressure because we remember earlier that they didn't have any pressure at all. And you see again, McNabb, I don't know, that's not really a lot of pressure there. I mean, nope. Spellman comes in a little later. McNabb looked to the left and he pumped and then he brought the ball down. So he's really had pretty good protection. Timeout, Dallas. And don't forget, coming up on the Visa Halftime Report, J.B. Terry oh, Howie and Chris will have scores and highlights from around the league. And our Fox Sports ticker will have up to the second stats. That's all coming up on the Visa Halftime Report. Yeah, you have to go in at halftime. I'm sure Dave Campo is thinking this. Is 
is you've lost your starting quarterback. You haven't run Emmett Smith enough. You haven't established anything. And that's what happens that time of possession. You know, you say, well, why didn't they run more to Emmett? Why didn't they throw it to Joey Galloway? Why didn't they use Jackie Harris? Because they didn't have the ball. And with a score, 21 nothing, 24 nothing, finally. How many times are you going to give it to Emmett? Deuce Staley, the carrier. Well, they still had plenty of time. And, and, and I think that. You know, at halftime when they go in, that that's the way they have to look at it. They have to look at it that the score is zero to zero, and not come in and press and play uphill. Look how quickly the Eagles got 21 points and then 24. That can be done on both sides of the ball. Maybe they'll come out and start with an onside kick. I doubt it. And you know, one of the interesting things that I was just saying is, if we talk to Andy Reid here at halftime, is when he decided. To use that onside kick to start the game because you know as a coach sometimes you'll say geez on Thursday it's a good idea we'll do it then yep. on Friday you know, I'm not going to do it or Saturday night you say I'm going to do it you wake up Sunday and you say no or you go to the park and you're going to do it then two minutes before the kickoff you say no no it's off just kick it but I mean to decide to do it and then stay with it is something special it really is Sean Landetta Landetta to Galloway. Galloway, of course, has great speed. But the Eagles covered well, and Dallas will take over as Brian Mitchell down first on the coverage team. Dallas will take over on their own 20. You know, you say, what kind of offense is this Philadelphia offense? And Andy Reid came from Green Bay, yep. you know, and then he brought that West Coast offense with him. Then when he brought Rod Dauhauer in as the offensive coordinator, although Andy Reid calls all the offensive plays, he, he wanted some of those Washington Redskin plays from you know the Joe Gibbs days. Rod Dauhauer was assistant for years with Joe Gibbs. So this offense is kind of a combination of the West Coast plus a little Joe Gibbs or Washington Redskin offense. And a little Andy Reid. Tacked on. Here's Cunningham back in the pocket. Finds himself some room and throws it upfield and it's picked off. Carlos Emmons comes up with it for the Eagles and he's still on his feet. And Emmons gets down. Flag on the play. Emmons got back to about the 30. Flag down the one. Flag is going to be against number 77 the on the offense was illegally downfield. That penalty will be declined. Take the result of the play. First down for Philadelphia. That was Solomon Page. Yeah, you wonder uh, unless that was a screen, how the right guard got downfield. Uh, yeah. I mean, that usually happens on a screen pass, or he may have he may have thought that Randall Cunningham was going to run. Let's see, Solomon Page is right here. He's the right guard. See him blocking there. And I guess I guess what happened is when Randall Cunningham got to the outside, he looked like he started to go up the field. But it didn't make any difference. It was an interception anyway. The Eagles have two timeouts remaining. They have a chance to add to their lead. McNabb fakes, throws, and the corner incomplete. Intended for Alex Van Dyke. That was a pretty good throw. Yes, I mean, that's something you'd look at it and you'd say from a a reading point, you probably should throw it there because it was into double coverage. But sometimes you're you're so good that you could throw into double coverage and get that ball in there and give that guy and, a chance to make a play. And, and and he does. It's right over Felipe Sparks. Lippy Sparks, the old New York Giant corner, just signed this week by the Dallas Cowboys. Second and ten. McNabb going for more. Pass is picked off in the middle. That's Joe Bowden who makes the interception for the Cowboys. The Cowboys got him from Tennessee in the offseason. And they thought that he was going to be a starter and, and, and he couldn't beat out anyone, so. 
So he's a backup, but he's playing in nickel situations. Here again, he's just he's just making a read. That's that win. That that win, you see him. You know that win always did play that middle linebacker nickel position, and that time he just backed up and, and read McNabb all the way. Good play by Dat Win. Bowden's 58, Win is 59. Like I said about Dat Win, he, you know he's he's starting as a middle linebacker this year. Uh, no one could beat him out, but yep. on second and third down, he's really playing the same position that he played last year. 28 seconds left. Is Cunningham drops the throw and goes deep for Ishmael incomplete. The crowd wants interference. Watch this in the left-hand side of the screen. This is this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do after you throw an interception. You know, as a quarterback, you have to attempt to make a tackle. Once in a while. McNabb just put his head down, <laughs> went right into the ground, and I guess you chalked that up as an attempt. I guess. The fans thought that should have been pass interference, and I think we're going to see less pass interference if there's... You know, one of those no harm, no foul deals this year. Cunningham tried to throw a slant, very nearly picked off by Damon Moore for the Eagles. His interceptions are just going yeah. back and forth, or almost interceptions just going back and forth. Dave Campo, all his life, has been dreaming as to be a head coach and 30 years in coaching, and this is his first head coaching job, his first game, his first half. And in his dreams, it wasn't 24 to 3. Nope. And the dream didn't include that onside kick that got the Eagles off and running. Third and 10. Cunningham drops. And Randall. They get a first down to Ishmael. And I think the dream included, included picking up those blitzes better yeah, than they did. I think so. The Cowboys, one of the things that they thought was their strong points was the offensive line. But the Eagles have come from all directions. Don't forget to stay with us at the half for the Visa halftime report. JB and Terry and Howie and Chris will have all the up to second stats and scores. You know, one thing about Randall Cunningham, when he came back, remember he retired, he was out of football, and yeah. then came back to the Minnesota Vikings. He came back a lot calmer guy. And you know, and you just watch him play. I mean, he hasn't practiced, he hasn't done anything, he's not sure of the offense, he may not even know all the players yet, but he is maintaining his calmness. First and ten with ten seconds left. out of bounds and stops the clock with four seconds left. They'll have another shot. Well, they get a shot at a field goal here is what they'll do. Here's Joey Galloway on one of those cover two things where you get by the corner, then you're going to run that pattern in between the corner who rotated up and the safety who's coming over. Randall Cunningham has seen that cover two all of his life, and he knew exactly where to put that ball. Tim Cedar has hit from 34 yards out. He's good again. And at the half, it's 24 to nothing. And you have to just be shocked at this score, as I'm sure the Cowboys were with the way Andy Reid had this game begin for himself. Well, Andy Reid had his club much more ready to play right from the get go than the Dallas Cowboys, and Dave Campbell had his team ready. So they'll head for the locker room with the Eagles leading 24 to 6. I mean, the, the Eagles came out right from the get-go yeah. in, in every area. I mean, going after Troy Aikman on defense, running the ball with Deuce Staley on offense, the onside kick, they really did it. Let's go down to D.J. Johnson. All right, 
we're here with uh, Coach Andy Reid. Coach, you started off the game with the onside kick, which we recovered. Now, is that something you thought of this morning, or was that game plan for weeks? No, that was game plan. <laughs> you know, we, yeah, we had that picked out for the last week or so. Now, your trainers have been giving a lot of the guys uh, pickle juice to prevent cramping and dehydration. Something you believe in? Yeah, well, I do because it works, you know, so we're okay with it. Had any yourself? I, I haven't. I'm not playing, though, DJ. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Back up to you, Pat. All right, DJ, that's the end of the first half with the score the Eagles 24, the Cowboys 6. Fox NFL Sunday will continue from Dallas after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. First, he took on the Terminator. Then, he raised the Titanic. I gotta go. Where? Now. It's a secret. Has he got a girl for you? Girls get gas. Says so on a t-shirt. You got a bad attitude. Come on, you're not even trying. James Cameron invites you to meet. I know who you are. I know who you're running from. Dark Angel, the series premiere Tuesday, October 3rd on Fox. Good Day Philadelphia on Fox. All live, all local, always Fox. Hey, uh, I, I've got to take off. You're leaving already? We've got a meeting. Early, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Get out of here. There are friends, and there are Molson friends. Okay. One more round. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> In my next life, I'd like to come back as a tree. I'd like to come back as a rainbow. I'd like to come back as a bird. They're so free. My next life, I'd like to be me again. Me too. Me too. And me too. When you win $1,000 a week for life, it just doesn't get any better. 28 people have already won, so play this instant and come back a winner. We love to see you smile. At McDonald's, every order is made hot, fresh, right to order. So I'm not just making a burger. I'm making your burger. And for a limited time, when you buy a big, luscious quarter pounder with cheese, get a second one for just 25 cents. Only a quarter for the great taste of McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese. That's two delicious reasons to smile. We love to see you smile. Buy a quarter pounder with cheese at the regular price and get a second one for a quarter. The Visa Halftime Report is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere NFL fans want to be. And welcome back to Los Angeles. And once again, we want to thank Visa so very much for being our sponsor again for our halftime shows with the Full House here. Let's get you caught up on the action. Show you where the Eagles, boy, are they doing a job? Dallas with only eight Pickle yards juice, passing. JB. Is, that, is that the key? Got it. Bruce Bill Smith. Smith there. Yeah. Bruce Smith looking lean and mean for the Redskins following a Stephen Davis score. Watch this burst of speed by Michael Bates of Carolina. Takes it 92 yards later. Touchdown. Remember last year, Michael Bates, two touchdown on kickoff returns, but not enough. Brad Johnson leaping over, ball in control, ball breaks the plane. Touchdown for the Redskins. They go on to win this football game, 20 to 17 over Carolina Panthers. Rookie running back Ron Dane and Tiki Barber help the Giants cause combined 224 yards, three touches. Ah, thundering lightning. This has to be what? Lightning in the form of Tiki Barber. Takes his handoff 78 yards later, the longest touchdown from line of scrimmage by a Giant since Frank Gifford in 1959, 14-0 New York. Whoa! 13.05 to go in the third quarter. You heard it. That lightning storm sent both teams to the locker room. Then when they came back out, Ron Dane gets his first touchdown, rushing on his rookie year, seven yards out, 21-16 Giants over Arizona. Randy Moss has a signal caller in Dante Culpepper who looks like he's going to be a good one. Oh, watch this. Lock, five-step, lays it up. Beautiful lofted spiral. Randy Moss, great leaping ability, takes this ball, 
Cuts back to the inside. Finally taken down on the seven-yard line to complete a 65-yard play. Culpepper today, three touchdowns rushing. And then back, sets up. Everybody comes by him. That is an automatic quarterback draw at 250 pounds. He can do this all day long. 30 to 27, Vikings over the Bears in an exciting game. Drew Bledsoe had some thunder in his face all day Drew today. Drew Bledsoe, oh yeah. This is why I'm glad I'm here with all of you guys. There it is, Warren Sapp talking, doing, there it is. The NFL defensive player here, tell him all about it. Look at this. Sean King fakes the old grounding play. Remember, stands up like Dan Marino did in the 90s at the Meadowlands versus the Jets. Then he hits Reed L. Anthony, eight-yard touchdown, 21-16. Buccaneers over the Patriots. An emotional tribute to Derek Thomas, the late Derek Thomas at Arrowhead Stadium today. Screen pass when you have a guy like Edron James. Remember the great rookie year he had last year. Screen pass, set it up, throw it back to the left, 27 yard. Later, touchdown, Indianapolis, 14 KC to seven seconds. Touchdown on the day for James and Elvis Gerbach. Under pressure, shouldn't have thrown this, hold the ball. Jeff Gross picks it off 27 yards later. There it is, 27-14, Colts over the Chiefs. And with two coaches making their NFL coaching debuts today, it was Mike Sherman and the Packers coming away victorious 10 to 7 over the Jets. Remember when Desmond Howard played for Green Bay Packers and they played the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl down in the New Orleans Superdome? Well, he did this to New England. This kickoff goes 95 yards for a touchdown. Two-point conversion good. It's 14 to 7 there. A little hot dog, you bet. 14 to 10, Lions over my Saints. Say it ain't so. All right, 49ers and Falcons, a shootout there. Jamal Anderson on a return with 62 yards as the Falcons cut away victorious. Jaguars, didn't Chris say that the window of opportunity was closing on them? I you play know, I Cleveland, come on. Good point, that, that, good point. And the Ravens up into the Steelers who look woeful on the offensive end today. Seahawks and Dolphins, boy, Dolphins are spanking them in the third. 23-0 as we continue to round out the scoreboard. Howie's Raiders right now, no score with the Chargers. And I jumped too quickly ahead with the Packers and Jets. That game, of course, only at the halftime. Chris. Jim Johnson came in as the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles last year. They went from 17 to 46 turnovers in his first year. Looks like they're going to be on that same kind of pace this year. What a job he's done with that defense. Well, the question mark for Dallas coming in, obviously, were surrounding a number of positions. One was not the offensive line. Minus 30 yards passing, 27 total yards offense, 0 for 5 on third down. And as John Madden pointed out in this heat, 16-46 in time of possession to 8-38. Joey not, Galloway not is the, the number three game. quarterback if Randall Cunningham goes down. Pickle juice is the key to the to the Eagles' victory today. I'm sure John and Pat have already alluded to that. It's the pickle juice. That and I'm the fact you. that they're kicking their butts out there. The pickle Pizza juice. Halftime yeah. continues after this. The Bengals could have used some pickle juice. Visa is proud to celebrate the fans this season. Visa, it's everywhere NFL fans want to be. NFL.com, your source for game day coverage. This is a big game. We got to take it one play at a time. Win on three. One, two, three. Exclusive behind the scenes access. Up to the minute live stats. No place like first place. Live radio coverage. And post game features. No one knows how much this means. On Sundays, watch your game and follow the rest of the action on NFL.com. If you thought being a student was hard, he failed because you didn't like his answers. Try being a teacher. She gave my boy an F. Because he thought Lincoln was a log, Washington was a redskin, and Hamilton was a, what was Hamilton? A blender. David E. Kelly, the Emmy Award winning creator of Ally McBeal and The Practice, takes you back to school. And Miss Suter, you finished number one in the poll. What poll? Which teacher the male students want to sleep with most? Oh, how nice. You were seven. What, seven? Boston Public, Fox Fall. We'll return to Dallas for the start of the second half after these messages from your local Fox station. You're watching the NFL on Fox. with Don Tollefson on the Fox 10 o'clock news. 
Question. A media metrics report ranked AOL number one in average monthly digital media minutes per unique visitor. Who is number two? Not Microsoft. Not Yahoo. Not eBay. It's Juno. Great place. I like your neighborhood. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Time to buy a Galant. Zero down, zero interest, and zero payments till spring 2001. At Mitsubishi's Car Envy event. Good on any 2000. Even if you tend to roam around, you can still keep people close. The AT&T Regional Advantage Plan. Freedom to wander within a multi-state home calling area with no roaming charges. And no long distance to anywhere in the U.S. So whether you're passing through the neighborhood or a neighboring state, you can stay in touch with everyone you care about and still feel free to roam. Wireless from AT&T. Your world close at hand. Today's man is closing three stores, and that leaves us with a massive surplus of name brand suits, sport coats, pants, coats, and shoes that needs to go fast. Save 50% on today's man suits. Made in Italy, made in England. Save 50% on famous designer brands like Hugo Boss, John Franco Ferre, Louis Ferro, Ungaro, Casper, and Jones New York. Five million dollars of the best men's clothing you've ever seen at 50% off savings. Today's man. Dress smart, shop smarter. Which of the following providers of dial-up internet services has the largest active subscriber base? Not AT&T. Not Microsoft. Not Prodigy. Not Net Zero. It's Juno. 68 F-hook swing. All right, has everybody got that? All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Everybody's going to go along, all right? Except you, Julio. You're blocking. Very seriously. Come on, let's quit goofing off. We haven't got to play right all day. We're back at Texas Stadium, and although it doesn't perhaps look like it, earlier today it was over 180 degrees down on the playing surface. It probably has cooled off a little bit, but it's still very hot. But you know, if it's 180 degrees, and if it cools off a little bit, it can yeah. still be like 152. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever experienced any kind of heat like that, but I was down on the field before the game, and when you walk from the shade into the sunlight, it's like a wall of heat just hits you in the face. Yeah, I saw you go down there, and I saw you down there, and I still wonder why'd you do it? Well, I wanted to see what it felt like. What did it feel like? I don't want to feel that again. I came back in a hurry. Brian Mitchell downs it in the end zone. Let's look at some first-half statistics. First and ten, Philadelphia from their 20. Well, you can see the you know Eagles outrushed them, and that's that's that was what they wanted to do. That's Deuce Staley. And then and then the the passing yards. Look at the Cowboys; they only had eight yards passing, and of course they wanted to aggressively go after Troy Aikman, and and they and they did that. First downs, 14 to four. Then this one here is big. I mean, it's time yeah. of possession, 20 minutes to 10. So that means that the Cowboy defense was out on the field for 20 minutes, and and it's going to take its toll. I mean, it won't take its toll right now, but it's going to take its toll again in the fourth quarter. Here's Deuce Staley, who had an outstanding first half. Deuce Staley. That's a good, uh, good idea. Yeah, hey, that's, that's a little paddle thing. upstream. Yeah. <laughs> to do that. Here was, here was how the, the Eagles started. I mean, they started aggressively onside kick, then they go play pass down there, hit Thomason, and, and then defensively, we see what they did. We know that they were going to aggressively go after Troy Aikman and take him to the ground. They did that. So it was special teams, it was offense and defense, and that was a very, very complete first half for the Eagles. And this is a Philadelphia timeout, and they accomplished their purpose. They took eight of Aikman, in fact, right out of the game. Yeah, and, and they just they just didn't let him get started. And it was interesting yesterday when we were talking to the Cowboys and to, to Dave Campo that, that, that it was important to them that Troy Aikman get off to a good start. I mean, they, you know, Chan Gailey, they fired Chan Gailey yep. in the offseason. 
changed his offense, went back to the offense of Ernie Zampezi. Jack Riley's a coordinator now, and they thought he'd feel more comfortable with that. Troy Aikman would. And so this was the first trial of that, and they wanted him to get off to a good start and get off to a solid start, and they never did. Never did. He wound up being taken to the locker room with a concussion. And he's had six before. So he's not going to be back today. I'm sure of that. No, and then you wonder when he is going to be back, if he is going to be back. Right. Here comes the Cowboy Blitz as Staley makes the catch from Donovan McNabb. Dexter Coakley out to make the stop. You know, at some point you get with those concussions that you just can't play anymore. Oh, right. That's what you know happened to Steve Young because Steve Young is as far as a player could still play but the concussion situation he couldn't play anymore. Staley's move made Coakley slip down he got back up and made the stop and that's that's one of the things. Here's Duke Staley again. That's one of the things you get with moving your back around you know you put him out and if they're covered by a corner then that means that you're going to have someone other than a corner on your receivers. That's if he's covered by a linebacker then you have him out in space in a mismatch. That was Wade Wilson the longtime Viking and other team quarterbacks talking with Randall Cunningham. Second and seven coming up. Twenty four to six Philadelphia leads it. Opening seconds. Second of the third quarter. Here's, here's another empty backfield. McNabb, and he can run. He can beat you throwing it and running with it. See, that's why he's so good in that empty backfield. And this is something that the that the Eagles really were surprising the Cowboys with because they didn't do this at all in the preseason. But you can see here when you have no one in here, now if he finds a hole and those five receivers run the linebackers and defensive backs out, all he has to do is get first get through that first hole. I mean Darren Hambrick was there on the on the rush and, and he should have made the sack right there. But if you give him that hole, he's going to pick up yards. I mean, he's going to get there, get first downs, and that when they're spread out like that. Leon Lett gets a rest. Nabs already carried the ball four times for 26 yards, but he created this short yardage situation. For Deuce Staley, and Staley gets the first down, gets up close to the 45-yard line. Deuce Staley. You know, McNabb, you know, a couple plays ago he said he couldn't hear. Yeah. Now watch what happens here. He's going to come in and change helmets. See, because he has that receiver in his helmet, and the one that he was wearing didn't work. So he changed helmets and then got the good play. That's See? how the plays get into him from the sideline. Right. You know, that last play, they just ran right at Alonzo Spellman. And yep. He penetrated so much, he was coming on a pass rush. I don't know why, on third and short. And he penetrated so much, he just ran right by the ball carrier. Here's Staley again. Taken down as he crosses the 45. Donovan McNabb is there, and he's, he's signaling the, the guys to hurry up and get the, the play in quickly. You can see he's, he's he's standing there waiting for the play and he doesn't wait too long because he wants to get in the huddle call the play and get up to the line of scrimmage. Staley lost the shoe and Brian Mitchell takes his place. Second and eight. Second Greg down. Ellis made that last stop. Mitchell midfield. And into Dallas territory, not enough for a first. You know, Mitchell's pretty good for this team. I yes, mean, he you know, is. we know that he can return kicks and, and those types of things. But when you have Deuce Staley, and then you have to give Staley a little rest and you bring in a Brian Mitchell, that's not bad. That's I mean, right. That, that energy level is kept up because both of these guys are high energy guys. Leon Lett comes into the Dallas defense, as does Felipe Sparks. Sparks is number 20. McNabb 
gets the ball into Luther Broughton for the completion in the Eagle first down. See, that's one of the things that they're able to do. We talked about empty backfield. We talked about splitting the running backs out, but they also do it with tight ends. And that time they take Luther Broughton, their tight end, and they split him out like a wide receiver, try and get a mismatch, and just hit him on a slant. That's Dexter Coakley, one of the Cowboys linebackers who's down and out of breath or dehydrated or injured. 24 6, Philadelphia. Do you think you're making a difference? We do. Since you started talking to your children about drinking, teenage drinking is down 45%. To all parents who are making a difference, thank you. It's a better place to live. It's a better place to live. Thanks to you. Mm -hmm. When we modified a new Beetle to race in the Pro Rally Series, there were a few skeptics. Cute car. <laughs> this car is actually very tough. Other than some heavy-duty shocks and a roll cage, it's basically up the showroom floor. We even beat some cars with two and three hundred horsepower. It ruffled a few feathers. Cute car. Thanks. <laughs> Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. I'm not, I'm not really sure you need a fire to cook today. Well, you didn't, but those are indoors. Had they been outdoors, there were people out here in the parking lot yeah. cooking without fire today. <laughs> Dexter Coakley had the wind knocked out of him, getting a rest. Deuce Staley in the backfield, and the handoff is to Deuce. Let's again go down to D.J. Johnson. Well, we told you about the heat in the first half. It did take its toll on some of the players. Two players from the Cowboys and two players from the Eagles had IVs at halftime to replace their fluids and hopefully uh, help them prevent dehydration and cramping in the second half. Back up to you, Pat and John. We were out of practice yesterday. Thank you, D.J. We're talking to Jerry Jones, the owner of the Cowboys. And he said they wanted to make sure their training staff, medical staff, make, make sure that each player drank as much as three gallons of water during the course of the game. That's a lot of water. Pass caught. See, now they got Kingston. him, and the, and the Cowboy defense just can't rush at all. I mean, they're just standing on the line of scrimmage, and the, and the Eagles are going with an empty backfield, so they have five receivers out here spread all over the field. They're just looking for that open guy in the mismatch, and Donovan McNabb is just hitting him. I mean, look at the time that he has. I mean, there's no one around him. On that time, on that pass rush, hardly anyone got off the line of scrimmage. Watch this. I mean, it just gets see, see, see the separation he gets. Look, there's no one near him, no one chasing him, no threat at all. It's like throwing skeleton. Now they're blitzing out in the direction of Staley. The blitz worked. His that win came up the middle, and now he stays down. Now Mike Zimmer, the defensive coordinator of the Cowboys, was probably saying enough of that. If we can't get there with the four, let's let's blitz him. That wind coming up the middle. Yep. You can see it right here. You see that he, he just gets in there and no one blocks him yeah. at all. That's that's what you try and do. I mean, you try and get you know one guy going inside, one guy going outside, and then no one to block you just going right at the quarterback. That looks like cramps. When we modified a new Beetle to race in the Pro Rally series, there were a few skeptics. Cute car. <laughs> this car is actually very tough. Other than some heavy-duty shocks and a roll cage, it's basically up the showroom floor. We even be 
see some cars with two and three hundred horsepower. It ruffled a few feathers. Cute car. Thanks. If you want the movie that's out of this galaxy, buy Men in Black Collector Series DVD. We'll take it from here. See production art and storyboards. Hear behind-the-scenes commentary by the director and star. You doing fine, Ace? When you buy the Men in Black Limited Edition, you get even more extras. Nah. <laughs> View the making of MIB and edit your own scene. Men in Black, buy it Tuesday. Men in Black, collector series or limited edition DVD. I make this look good. share coke. I didn't bring any. I never liked you. Because I'm prettier than you? Because you're stupid. No, you are. No, you are. You are. No, you are. <laughs> This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. There has been precious little to cheer about today. If you're in one of those uniforms, Dat Wynn headed for the locker room. I bet that's one of those things where, as you said, he had cramps and he's probably going in to get one of those IVs. Second and ten. Here comes the blitz again. And it works again. Deuce Staley was the ball carrier stopped by Coakley, who was out of breath a few minutes ago but back now well, you know it's interesting that the the Eagles have had the ball for like 27 minutes to the Cowboys 10 minutes so that means that this offense I mean this match we're seeing right now the Eagle offense and the Cowboy defense you know has been out there yep. 27 and 10 so the Eagle offense is going to run down a little themselves and you can just see that the Cowboy defense has really worn down. The Cowboys haven't had the ball this half. McNabb to Pinkston. Complete. That's a heck of a throw. McNabb has made a couple of great McNabb slant throws. He, he, he hit that one out here to yeah. Broughton on the right side, and then he hits that one to Pinkston right here. But here's Pinkston. He's the outside receiver. He's going to come in and run that slant, and McNabb has it right there for him. You would like it a little lower. You wouldn't like to... You know, stretch your receiver out like that. But through all that, it was short of the first down, and they're going to go for the field goal. Akers' first was good from 33 yards today. This one's from 37. And this one's good. As the Eagles keep the ball for the second half, the entire quarter, and lead 27 to 6. How come Joe Namath was more popular than Johnny Unitas? Both were great quarterbacks. Both jerseys hang in the Hall of Fame. But then, only one quarterback was ever seen on the sidelines wearing a full-length mink coat. The Mitsubishi Montero. Toughness. Need stuff. I got an anonymous report about a covert genetics lab using DNA to produce a superior human. But what does any of this have to do with me? The barcode on your neck, Max. In the future, the most dangerous thing to have... Somebody is looking for you. ...is the past. You are to terminate. From James Cameron, director of Aliens, The Terminator, and Titanic, comes the two-hour television event. I know who you are, and I know who you're running from. Dark Angel, the series premiere, Tuesday, October 3rd on Fox. Next week, it's the Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader, beginning with Terry Howie, J.B., and Chris on America's favorite pregame show. Then Michael Strahan and the Giants take on these Eagles, followed by the Rams' battle against the Seahawks, plus other regional matchups. And we want to call special attention to those of you in Denver who, for the first time, will get a bonus early game prior to the Falcons-Broncos matchup. So be sure to make it a full day of football action right here on Fox starting at noon Eastern.
Jason Tucker. Jason Tucker on the return. Randall Cunningham will quarterback the Cowboys when we come back. How come Joe Namath was more popular than Johnny Unitas? Both were great quarterbacks. Both jerseys hang in the Hall of Fame. But then, only one quarterback was ever seen on the sidelines wearing a full-length mink coat. The Mitsubishi Montero. Toughness meets style. In over 800 cities, in dozens of countries, on five continents, the world is knocking. ESINet lets you answer. With a global network offering multi-currency e-commerce, dedicated hosting, private IP networking, multimedia services, and more, your internet opportunity is knocking. Open the door. Call or contact us today. PSINet, the internet supercarrier. Never once did your car ask you for jewelry or flowers. Never once did it ask you if it looks fat or did it get mad at you for leaving the seat up. Your car always gives you exactly what you want. Doesn't it deserve something special in return? NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of the Super Bowl. By Coors Light, proud partner of the John Wayne Cancer Institute in their search for a cure. By PSINet, the internet supercarrier. And by Mitsubishi Motors, makers of the 2001 Montero. Wake up and drive. Just trying to stay cool. Now that would be fun. That would be fun. We're going to have to get a bigger inner tube or whatever that is. Although eventually if it's wet and downhill, you go. That's true. Cunningham to Emmett Smith tackled right at the line of scrimmage. In the event you might have joined us late, Troy Aikman took a beating from the Eagle defense. That's the last hit that he took and he headed for the locker room with another concussion. Well, you know, before that, you could see him checking them on the sidelines yep. and, you know, looking with a flashlight and eyes and, and, you know, giving all those tests. And you see him trying to, you know, get it out of there and it just didn't come out. I mean, he just couldn't get clear headed again. And Randall Cunningham takes over. This is Emmett Smith. And Emmett breaks one tackle and scampers up to about the 38. Couple yards short of the first down, 542 left in the third. The Eagles leading 27 to 6. You're going to see something on that last play that I don't remember seeing in a couple of years. Larry Allen pulling, who I've always said is one of the best offensive linemen in all football, and missing. I mean, usually when Larry Allen pulls, he is one of the best pullers. Now watch him come out here and right there, he just throws an air ball. And you're not going to see that in Larry no. Allen, but I think that is one of those days for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, the regulars didn't play a lot in the preseason. They lost all five games, and, and it sure looks like they yeah. haven't yeah. played a lot. I mean, they're they're not on the same page. They haven't been able to get anything going, offensively or defensively. Delay a game, offense, five-yard penalty, remains third down. And I'm not talking about this. I mean, this no. is Randall Cunningham, the backup quarterback, and. Who's had little or no work, but I'm talking about even before that. I mean, they 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 look like the Eagles came out and the Eagles were just too quick. I mean, they, in just every area, they 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 beat them by that step. And it started off again. I hate to be redundant, but it started off with an onside kick, which took a lot of courage on Andy Reid's part. Cunningham, incomplete intended. You know what the interesting thing about that Pat was that. When uh, DJ asked him about it at halftime, yeah. he said that they decided to do that a week ago. Yeah. Now, that's not as interesting as the fact that you decided to do it a week ago and didn't change. Your <laughs> you didn't mind. change your mind. Is yeah. right. That's that's a big thing. I mean, I know when I was a coach, I decided to do a lot of things the week before, and change my mind before I got to the game. And last pass was intended for James McKnight, who had a good preseason. This is Micah Knorr. Back to punt. 
Mitchell at the 22 is taken down at about the 28. And that's where the Eagles will start from with 444 left in the third quarter and Philadelphia leading Dallas 27 to 6. This is in college. It's time to show what you've got. If I could beat this time, cold ones for everybody. Make it a Coors Light and you're on. I can taste it now. Done. Ready, Junior? Bring it on. Ready! Ready! All that. All that. Rookie, meet the coach. The old man. Out of the way, Malone. You're never going to make a block with your center up. Keep it down. Your head up. Your back straight. Keep a leg under you. Drive! <laughs> Oh, Don't forget my beer, Junior. Coors Light, frost brewed at the edge of freezing. Like I said, Coors Light for everybody. Jensen, no hard feelings. It's not exactly my feelings that hurt, sir. <laughs> it's your breakfast table. It's your car. Take it to Midas for a free oil change when you purchase lifetime Midas brakes. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. Keep a good thing going. Go Midas. How does your gray beard or mustache reflect on you? Man, I look old. Get new vitamin enriched just for men gel. The Rejuvenator. Specially made to penetrate coarse gray in five minutes and match your hair. The Rejuvenator. Just for men gel. Here we go. The Freaky Links team is determined to uncover the truth behind the strange and unusual. From the creators of the Blair Witch Project, stranger things have happened, but not on your TV. Freaky Links premieres October 6th, Fox Friday. The man in the hat, Tom Landry, who coached the Dallas Cowboys for 29 years. Which Tom passed away in the offseason last spring. All the players you'll notice have that famous fedora that Landry made famous himself on their jersey. You know, and it's, and it's fitting, him. you know, that I mean, there should be tributes. I think that we need more of our history. I mean, this is the, you know, the 40th year of the Dallas Cowboys, and Tom Landry was, was so special. I mean, not only as a coach, but probably even as a man was, was was bigger than as a coach and I think I think we ought to honor our history more than we do in this Absolutely. game. Absolutely. And certainly he would he would be one of the most honored and should be. That's Deuce Staley flashing to the outside. Deuce Staley. The word we just received is that Troy Aikman has gone to the hospital. He got dressed and he went to the hospital for observation. And I think when you when you have a history like Troy Aikman of, of concussions, we talked about that. He's had six. This would be his seventh. You take every precautionary measure or means that there is. Here's Deuce Staley again. And Staley is off to the races unless somebody runs him down, and here comes Darren Woodson to catch him. And Staley has to be exhausted. I mean, the heat hasn't bothered him seemingly at all. Yeah, but that's the fun exhausted. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, there's two ends of a whipping. You know, the 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 the, the doing the whipping and the getting whipped. And when you're doing the whipping, you just get behind Big John Runyon. Look at the size of that guy. I mean, he just takes a guy and just wipes him right out of the screen. And Deuce Staley knows that. If you're going to get behind someone, get behind a big old guy like John Runyon. He just wiped out Dexter Coakley. He just, yeah, he just knocked disappeared. Him. He knocked him right off your television screen. I like. I can see a couple all Madden guys here on this Eagle team already. We just mentioned two of them. I thought so. You mean Staley and Runyon? Uh, yep, Deuce Staley and John Runyon. Deuce Staley was last year. Remember, we had yeah. him because he's something special. Look at him, 28 for 200 yards, and that's that's both you know total yards. That's both catching and running. The Cowboys, 29 for 73 yards. So Deuce Staley is kind of a one-man gang today against the Cowboys, isn't he? Certainly more than a Deuce. 
But you know, but you can see it coming. I mean, didn't you feel that way last night talking with him and some of the Eagle players that he was going to have that kind of day? McNabb fires to Alex Van Dyke this time. You know, I think that the Eagles are putting together a team the way they should. I mean, they bring in a young coach in Andy Reid who is going to be here for a long time. There's going to be a good coach, and then they start building a team. You build your offensive line. You get your good running back. You know, you have a young quarterback that once he gets to know what you're doing, will be there for a long time. You have a good defensive coordinator who brings in an aggressive defense. That's Mitchell. He gets down close to another Eagle first down. Brian and then you pick up someone like Brian Mitchell. You, you talk about talkers. Brian Mitchell always has been a talker, but he's always backed it up. I mean, he's a tough guy. Not only as a runner, a punt returner, a kick returner, and also a cover guy. And our umpire just stood there. Yeah. I wonder what that would look like with the umpire cam. It would look like he. I think moved. we have a camera on his do. hat. We yeah. Do. Second and one. Mitchell again. And he breaks through. Into the secondary, picks up enough yardage for a first down, and this Dallas defense is just worn down. But well, you know that it was it was just going to be a, a point, and, and and they're going to get to him. Now here's the umpire cam. Here's what it looks like right here. You see the hole coming. This is what you have to hit. You take on a blocker. That's pretty good. And then you just run, and you just any any good running back always has his head up, so he has vision. And always runs behind his shoulder pads and always keeps his feet moving. Well, he did all those things then. Staley is back. McNabb to do Staley. Staley to the five, looking for more room. Do Staley ought to get like three post game meals. You know, they have meals going back in the airplane. At least something to drink. Yeah, yeah. He, he probably won't be hungry at all. And I'll no. guarantee you he's going to be sore tomorrow because. As he said, just, you know, they say that the turf in, in Philadelphia is so bad. He says all artificial turf is and bad. And this is turf. Yeah, and if you play on artificial turf and you're a running back, we're not talking about just getting injured. We're talking about it's an added day the next week before you're better. Every time you get hit, there's a, another time added to it when you bounce off the turf. You left the ball on the ground, but the Eagles fall on it. And the referee said he was down anyway. Cecil Martin was the guy who made the catch. Andy Reid. Andy Reid is one of those head coaches who also calls his own plays. He has an offensive kind of coordinator rare. in Rod Dauhauer, but he calls his own play, like Mike Holmgren does and Mike Shanahan did and those guys. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score of the Eagles 27, the Cowboys 6. Fox NFL Sunday from Dallas will continue after a word from your local Fox station. You're watching the NFL on Fox. Sports with Bill Vargas tonight on the Fox 10 o'clock news. Oh, yes, a brilliant move. Galway scampering across the goal to stop it. They just couldn't seem to get enough players forward before. He's showing good fluid movement. The right, the left. This is another aggressive charge down the front. He's timed his run to absolute perfection. Two defenders to beat. He's passed one. This is looking like a chance as he takes the shot in. Three, four, five, six, seven, oh, sorry. and eight. Go! the five-star safety of Ford Windstar. Plus, get great model year-end savings during the Ford Authorized Clearance. Ford Windstar, complete with 40 standard safety features, anti-lock brakes, and available reverse sensing system, plus lots of room and comfort. The Ford Authorized Clearance at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. I just want to celebrate, yeah. Now get 0.9 financing plus 1,000 cash back or choose 1,500 cash at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. I believe I can. I believe I can I set a new plan. At Sovereign, we're here to make it easier for you to achieve success. Sovereign Bank. 
succeeding is believing. Pat Summerall, John Madden, as we get ready to start the fourth quarter at Texas Stadium with the Eagles. Very impressive, leading 27 to 6. You know, and Deuce Staley's rush for 141 yards, and that's that's his career high. So when when he gains another yard today, that will be his career high. Third and goal. McNabb drops. And McNabb takes it in himself. Slam dunks it over the goalpost. See, that's what McNabb could do. I mean, he's not only a good run, he just knocked one of his own guys down. Did you see that? Yep. In fact, the ball's going up in the air. Watch it from the umpire cam here. This is what it looks like if you're rushing, you're rushing, you're rushing, and then you see that hole. Now, McNabb makes a little move there, then another move, then he just put his head down and got behind his shoulders and used his power. And then he goes up and he dunks the basketball. I mean, the dunks the basketball. Dunks the, <laughs> well, you're right. Dunks the football. And then he ran into one of his own guys who come to chest bump him, and he knocked him down. Well, he played basketball at Syracuse and in high school in Chicago. I think he just wanted to show on one play his athletic ability, yeah, where you so can too, make something out of nothing. You can use some power by getting down low. You can jump by getting over the goalpost. And then you can hit your own guy. But see, this, this is all athletic here. Here's the jump. That's pretty good right over there. Yeah, that's 10 feet up there. And then you come back and you get your balance, and then you start your celebration. Watch this. Here comes Deuce Staley's going to come and give him the thing. <laughs> oh, Deuce goes right on his back. Uh, he might be the only one that knocked Staley down today. Yeah, he depleted old Deucer. Acres for the extra point. And it's good. That's one pretty good play from McNabb. Yeah. He showed a lot of things, didn't he? The Eagles leading 34 to 6. Melvin wants 12 mil per year postseason incentives and stadium sweetness signing bonus. Agreed. Right. And a luxury car with leather CD that works. That's going to put us over the cap. Hey, they signed Melvin. How'd they ever get him under the cap? The Saturn L series. Leather, CD, the works. Our flight's delayed. Oh, come on. Collect. Yo, hey, kid. Dial 1 800 collect and you'll save mom at least a buck or two. Save a buck or two? Oh, she'll love that. Only if she likes saving money. Don't forget. Forget? For a collect call, dial 1 800 collect. I have five words for you. Mm-hmm. You're cute. You're coming with what, us. What's going on? Woohoo! Wow! <laughs> Let's ride. One eight hundred collect. Save a buck or two. Mark, why is Grandma eating off the ironing board? Why not? This is a kitchen table, not a desk. It's both now, and Dad's got a schedule for that. Dinner's at eleven. Ish. Marky, go work in your room. There's no desk up there, and I can't stay awake. It's getting bed. It's like. Out. Would you like a room with a nice big workspace? Great. What's this look like? A holiday inn? <laughs> hey, Grandma. Want a room with room to work? Holiday Inn gives you more, and more is better. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper makes the world taste better. By the Saturn L Series Performance Sedan. By Direct TV. Never miss a moment. And by Texaco, proud sponsor of the 2000 U.S. Olympic team. That looks like fun. For who? I haven't tried it. But. Oh. You know what I did try, though? Seriously, is one of those scooters. You did? You know, one of those. I got one, yeah. And I ride it. I mean, one thing, you know, like you never forget how to ride a bike or how to swim. You never forget how to scoot on a scooter. What is it, one of those razors? Razors, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can fold it up and you can, it holds up to 400 pounds. Well, that's good. And I watch this. This is great. Here goes, here goes Donovan McNabb. He gets up there, gets over. And now you say, why is he celebrating so much? That's his first rushing NFL TD. Watch him when he hits Staley here. 
This is something here. Here comes Deuce. Deuce is all ready to get the big celebration. Deuce comes, <laughs> Deuce comes in. Hey, I love you, great little whop. Right on his back. His head down, and that's, that's probably, you say, the hardest hit he's had all day. He's trying to get some of that water. Deuce looks happy. He should be. Yeah, winning is a great deodorant, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun when you're winning? That's another item they're going to need on, for the trip home. The deodorant. You know, his two worst hits. His two worst hits were from the bench. Remember when Deuce Taylor ran into the yep. bench, and then from his quarterback McNabb hitting him. Two you, toughest hits he had today. You Douglas has been outstanding today for Philadelphia. You Douglas started off with that pace, you know, yep. by, by by coming and he got a he got a sack early on Troy Aikman and remember the first four times Troy Aikman went back to pass, I think they sacked him three yep. times and Hugh Douglas was one of those guys. Eagles are using a three-man line now, but that's just the camouflage blitzes. Shuttle pass to Chris Warren. Warren gets out to the 20. Pass to win number 42, Chris Warren. Way shy of first down yardage. 34 to 6. The Eagles leading in the home opener for the Cowboys at Texas Stadium. Yeah, it's an interesting, it's going to be an interesting division. You know the way they play preseason now is you is you can't tell because no one yeah, plays right. anyone and and they're all afraid to get hurt and they take their players out and so you're, the first indicator you really have is in this first regular season game. Cunningham firing deep for Galloway. Incomplete. Over his head. Pass intended for number 84. Troy Benson. Incomplete. Stride for stride with Galloway. Fourth down. It's going to be interesting talking about preseason. We had a little informal poll on, on the internet as to whether they should have no preseason games, two preseason games, or four preseason games. And I think that that's something that has to be addressed. This is this is how it came out. No games, only 11 percent. Two games, 49 percent, and four games, 40 percent. Well, the so, coaches and the owners will tell you we need four. Yeah, but I think they're going to have to address it because it's gotten so bad. I mean, they're going to have to do something about it. And I think they're all ready to admit it now. This is Mitchell stumbles through one group and finally is ganged around by the Ryan Cowboys Mitchell. brought down. Eagles will take over. They lead it 34 to 6. I spent $41,000 on a luxury car. Oh. I spent 58,000 on a luxury mm. car. I spent 24. V6, heated leather seats, CD. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just here to pick up Linda. Saturn L series, huh? The Saturn L series performance sedan. I gotta get a couple of these. Bobby Hall was famous for his ability to skate and score, but few knew about his contribution to goaltending. Every game just to rattle the goalie, Hall would blast a 118 mile an hour slap shot just over the goalie's head and off the glass. A short time later, the face mask was invented. When you're an original, you do it your own way. Original Coors. Expect more from an original, an original course. Thank you for shopping at Foot Locker. No problem, thanks for nothing. Those are sales? Temperature has dropped down to 100. That's in the shade. Obviously, the whole playing field is it's more than 100 where those guys are. You know, and it's something that the the Cowboys are always going to remember this game. The, you know how hot it was here and what a beating they took. And the Eagles will remember this is the hottest day they ever played, but it didn't bother them at all. And what a good start they got off to. He'll remember it. Alonzo Spellman. 
And those defensive linemen. Yeah, they didn't do much today. They, they didn't put much pressure on Donovan McNabb. Oh, and there goes Deuce Staley. Foot race. Chased by Larimore. Staley gets inside the five. Ryan McNeil finally takes him down inside the 10 yard line at about the seven. I don't know what they paid Deuce Staley, but it's not enough for today. And I would say whatever they pay him, he's earned it today. And I think I would take him out. I don't think, I don't think they have to find out any more from Deuce Staley today. I think I think he did his job. And I think look at that. He's rushed for 196 yards, 61 receiving yards. His total 257 yards and a touchdown. This guy is a player. This guy is a player. If I were aware of I that. Like, look at him. He, yeah. He's bright eyed. He got a bounce in his lock. He saw Mitchell. Touchdown. I might leave Deuce. I might give him a chance to get 200 yards. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because you know, it would suddenly be hard to live with yourself if, in trying to get him 200 yards, he got hurt. Yeah, and then, I guess you're right. You know, something like that. I think. I think I would I would just tell them take off your jersey and your shoulder pads and put on a baseball hat. Mitchell scores a touchdown. Brian Mitchell was trying to get the ball and they wouldn't give him one so he got one from the sideline and he's going to say that's the ball I scored with. Akers hits the extra point. And adds to the to the insult to the beating that the Eagles have laid on the Cowboys 41 to 6. What gets us through the lean years? Why do we still hope when greatness has passed us over once again? Because when destiny finally does show up, and she will, we can say, I was here all along. This is why we watch. NFL Sunday Ticket lets you flip through up to 13 channels of NFL football every Sunday on DirecTV. Never miss a moment. Sign up now and also get our best programming package free for three months. In a world of some time over commercialization and endless official sponsorship, it's nice to sit back and take a moment to simply marvel at the inherent beauty of Olympic sport. Okay, moment over. Visa, the only card accepted at the Olympic Games of the new millennium. Melbourne wants 12 mil per year postseason incentives and stadium sweetness signing bonus. Agreed. Right. And a luxury car with leather CD that works. That's going to put us over the cap. Hey, they signed Melvin. How'd they ever get him under the cap? The Saturn L series. Leather, CD, the works. New player on the field. Hello. She's going all the way. Ooh, stop short of the end zone. I don't think anybody told you this, but I'm engaged. It's not a crime. More action on the new series, The Street, Fox Fall. 41 to 6. Philadelphia over Dallas. The Eagles have been uh, well coached, very impressive. Well prepared, everything worked. A couple of great individual performances, one by Staley. McNabb looks steady. Flag on the play, and they'll bring it back out. It's a kickoff out of bounds by rule. It will be rolled. Belong to the receiving team, 30 yards from where the ball was kicked. First down. Yeah, you, you said that Deuce Staley yeah. ought to get 200. He did have 200 yeah. yards. He got so many yards today, and counting it up, we just got the numbers wrong. I mean, you know, like just math, you had three, and then you had seven, then you had four, then you had nine, then two, and now it's 201 yards. So Deuce Staley did gain over 200 yards today. First and ten. Yeah. The Eagle record, by the way is 205 yards set in 1949 by Steve Van Buren. Deuce Staley just passed Wilbur Montgomery for second place. So in other words, would you put him back in to beat Van Buren's record? If he wanted to go back in, I would. But I don't even know that they know it. Right now, for an update, let's return to James Brown in Los Angeles. 
Hey, Pat and John, last year's NFL rushing touchdown leader, Stephen Davis, picking up where he left off a touchdown today with 133 yards on the ground. Washington victorious, and it looks like it'll be Washington, New York, and Philly at 1-0 in the East. Back to Pat and John. It certainly does look that way, J.B. I don't think the Cowboys are going to come back in this one. Here's Cunningham, the forward handoff to Chris Warren. And nothing doing. Flag on the play. Flags down on the play. Have we given enough credit to the Eagle defense? They've been outstanding. Well, I think I think so. The Eagle defense is really about scheme. You know, and the players have to play the scheme well, but I mean it's about overloads and blitzing and bringing safeties and corners and linebackers and penetration and all those things and the and the Eagle defense has really done it well. See now Deuce Staley isn't going to go after Steve Van Buren's record. I, I said I'd just take his shirt off but he already took his shirt tail out so that's that's the equivalent. Got the baseball cap on you said you do that. Yeah yeah I I, I take the jersey off and the shoulder pads off and I bet you he doesn't know. Offsides number 51. How close he is. As a five yard penalty this makes a first down. And he probably doesn't care. I mean, when it's yeah. four to one to six, and you just go up and you talk to big old John Runyon. Remember that one one play where, in fact, they're probably talking about that where Runyon was leading him and yeah. made a block and uh, Dexter Coakley. Well, they put that trap play in there for yeah. that purpose. Oh yeah, he got Leon Lett. Yeah, yeah, he could be talking about that one too. That yeah. special trap play where they tackle trap Leon Lett. First and ten. Here's Cunningham back to throw, and they swarm on Randall. And he's down a flag on the play. They're going to say that he's down back there, but they didn't blow the whistle. No, they didn't. If they want the players to stop somewhere. You have to blow the whistle. And they're pointing and saying he was down the there. Ruled down by contact. Holding number 77. Holding against Solomon Page. Today's game is being produced by Bob Stinner, directed by Sandy Grossman. The associate directors Mike Roy, broadcast associates Charles McDonald and Wayne Wilson, technical producer Bob Muller. Free game show was produced by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy. The senior producer is Bill Brown. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. Second and 15. The guys you know with us up here in the booth our booth is open and as hot as it is down on the field and for the crowd in the stands our guys have done a good job keeping us cool. Yeah they did I mean, we have things up here we have fans and coolers and and all that thing and, and it's worked. Yeah it really had been uncomfortable third and eleven and sometimes you don't realize how hot it is down there because it's not up here. Cunningham. Caught by Ishmael. And let's again go down to DJ Johnson. And we told you before the game about the Eagles' secret ingredient, pickle juice. Now we heard that Donovan McNabb did not take it, but Deuce Daly did take it, thus 201 yards. So uh, I think around the league, this may be the new secret formula. And uh, Pat and John, this might be a pickle juice thing for you guys, too. Can we travel with it, I wonder? Zone for Galloway incomplete. Flag on the play. Well, Hugh Douglas left his hat right there in the line of scrimmage and then continued to go without his hat. Well, if you're heading from here home to California and into Seattle for next week. Yeah, right. Is pickle juice going with you? No, no, I don't. I, I don't allow pickle juice. And I probably do. I have some pickle juice there. I thought you did. Yeah, no, I do. I have some old pickles. Illegal hands to the face, number 76, offense. That's a 10-yard penalty, first down. That's why Hugh Douglas didn't have his helmet on. You're going to see Flozell Adams right there with his left hand. He didn't knock it off. He just pulled it off. He ripped see it that? Off, he yeah. just put his hands up there and just pulled his hat right off his head. But Hugh Douglas, he just kept going, though. He left his hat there and just kept going after Randall Cunningham. Cunningham back. Garrity. 
you know, someone gave me some pickles. I, I never even thought about pickles, but someone gave me some pickles like five years ago. And I've had them in my refrigerator for five years. And I've, I've not only Let never, me know how I never drank the juice, but I never ate the pickles. Five, five years ago? <laughs> I've had pickles. Yeah, I've been packing pickles for five years. I really have. And I've never, I've never eaten a pickle <laughs> or drink the juice. I may, you know, you're going across Texas tonight, I may drink some pickles. I always heard you crave pickle juice when you were expecting child. The women craved it. <laughs> well, that's why for five years that thing has just sat untouched in my refrigerator. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is they could talk about, uh, you know, handling the heat, the pickle juice, and the, the IVs and, and all this stuff, but the Philadelphia Eagles today did it with players. They did it with players. They did it with coaching. I mean, they just went out there and they just whipped the Dallas Cowboys in every area that they play. Yeah, they were just flatly more ready to play than Dallas was. Yeah, and right from the get-go. I mean, they were they were a step faster, a step quicker than Dallas in every area. You think that maybe the Cowboys thought that because of the heat and the fact that we trained up in Wichita Falls, where the heat's been over 100 for weeks on end, that we got the advantage? I think you know probably you know they think that they did have the advantage but I I don't think that they're as good a team as they thought they were I think that's the bigger thing at the end of the play it's a personal foul unnecessary roughness number 79 this penalty will be enforced from the end of the play where the runner went out of bounds 15 yards and the down will count third down that's just when you meet yeah. heat with frustration yeah. And that's a mixture that usually ends up in something like this at the end of a game like this. You know, the Cowboys uh, were saying to us when we were out talking with them yesterday that, hey, we got done what we wanted to do. We got we got through training camp. We got nobody hurt. We got all of our regulars ready. They're, everybody's ready to start now. But maybe they're not ready to play now. And, the, and that's the thing. And you have to you have to get ready to play. And you just can't put them in. You know, in jars and, and hope that they don't get hurt and then they come out and play. Cunningham to Galloway. Inside the Eagle 15. And you know, you say, well, why didn't they do that all day? And remember, the Eagles didn't let them do that all day. The Eagles, you know, knew that they have Joey Galloway outside. They have speed. They have Rocket Ismail. But, but they just didn't let the quarterback, you know, I mean, specifically, you know, we're talking about Troy Aikman. Yeah. They just didn't give him any time to, to let him set throw the ball. This guy here, Randall Cunningham, has always been able to wing it. I mean, he can, he's got an arm, and he can throw it as far as anybody who ever played. And he can throw it to deep guys, too. Yeah. Remember what he did to Randy Moss? Yeah, Randy sure. Moss would always say, I'll just run deep as fast as I can, and you just chunk it as far as you can. And they made a lot of touchdowns running fast and chunking it. He took that year off from football and decided he was in the tile business in Las Vegas and working long hours, physical labor. He decided maybe that's not what I want to do. Cunningham broken up by the Eagles. You know, his arm isn't right, though. I mean, no. you can just see the way that he's throwing. That's not Randall coming. Well, he's not straightening the arm out. Yeah. He's not straightening it all the way out. Yeah, so that's that's a tough thing. I mean, they, when Troy Aikman went out, Randall Cunningham was the, the backup. He just he just had to play. See, that was to Chris Warren. There was no chance of that one, and maybe he just threw it away anyway. Troy and Vincent back playing the solid Eagle defense. Third and ten. Troy Vincent and Bobby Taylor, the two corners, have done very well today on the wide receivers of the Cowboys. There's Cunningham. Up the middle to Galloway about the one. The clock shows less than eight minutes to play now. The Eagles leading 41 to 6. And for the first time today, the Cowboys get close. See they bringing in their their tight ends here. This is a this is a goal line offense, so they're going to run this thing in or or, or play pass it. Remember the Eagles first down, they got into a three tight end situation. 
what happened is the is the Cowboys got their goal line offense in and the Eagles didn't get their goal line defense in so they had to take a timeout. They have only one left. The Cowboys have all of their timeouts remaining. I think at 41 to 6 it's all academic. Don't forget next week it's Fox. It's a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader beginning with Terry Howie, JB, and Chris on America's favorite pregame show. Then Michael Strahan and the Giants take on the Eagles, followed by the Rams and their battle against the Seahawks, where we'll be. Plus other regional matchups. We want to call special attention one more time to those of you in Denver who for the first time will get a bonus early game prior to the Falcons Broncos matchup so be sure to make it a full day of football here on Fox starting at noon Eastern time 9 Pacific next Sunday the new blackout rule that's why you'll get a game in Denver before the Broncos and Falcons play and the handoff is to Chris Warren who stopped behind the line of scrimmage that's the thing that you can't have down there is, is penetration and Hollis Thomas got the penetration yeah. and he got into backfield about three yards before Chris Warren ever had a chance to get it started. So they lose yardage. Watch Hollis Thomas right here number 78 you see they yep. they start to block down and he just hits that gap and just keeps going and gaining ground as he goes. He got underneath Stepnoski. Chris Warren went to the sideline. Galloway, touchdown. I couldn't tell if he had it for a second. He had it. He got a, he, he got a good block from Emmett Smith, too. Watch Emmett Smith is right there in a the blitz and he picks it up. And that's a, that's a heck of a throw. I mean, he led he led Joey Galloway where either Joey Galloway was going to catch it or was it going to be incomplete. Watch Emmett Smith. He picks up that block, and that was a thing that that they weren't doing earlier. They that's weren't picking up the blitzes, and the quarterback was was throwing, looking out his ear hole. And the ball never did hit the ground. Galloway did make the catch for a touchdown. They're going for two. Running hand drops. Throws. Two points to Ishmael. 41 to 14. 645 left to play as the Cowboys finally score a touch. went to the same B-School. All had bright ideas. Each started his own business the same year. So why is one company going global while the others are just getting going? Some people already know our financial representatives excel at a lot more than life insurance. Northwestern Mutual Financial Network. Are you there yet? I spent $41,000 on a luxury car. Oh. I spent $58,000 on a luxury car. I spent $24,000. V6, heated leather seats, CD. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just here to pick up Linda. Saturn L Series, huh? The Saturn L Series performance sedan. I gotta get a couple of these. If you thought being a student was hard, try being a teacher. I heard some students giggling in the corridor. I could tell it was at my expense, so I went online. Just look. Oh, come on. The bad part is coming. From the creator of Ally McBeal and the practice, Boston Public, Fox Fall. Here's the old onside yep. kick here. Look at this alignment here. They, so you would... Imagine that they're going to kick over to this side. Mike and Noor, the kick it left-footed. 
out of bounds. Kick out of bounds. Flags on the play. And then the Eagles can take it right there. I think they get to kick it one more time. I, I, Do they? I, yeah, yeah. I think they penalize them once, and then if it's a second time, they get to take it there. If it's a regular kick and it goes longer, that comes out to the 40. You're right. An onside kick, I think they let them have two chances at it. I thought they had changed that. They have an onside kick. Went out of bounds. Less than 20 yards. Last touch by the kicking team. By rule, we will have a five yard penalty and re kick. They will re kick. Right. They, they, they re kick it now, and that's, that's a little advantage they yeah. give to a kicking team to onside kick. Now, if he kicks the second one out of bounds, then they get the ball there. So you get kind of one one free one. And so I'm, I'm, I'm imagine he's going to try the same type of thing. Oh, well, sure he is. Goes back and you see they got the, the guys here and he's going to kick it over here and they all run down there and some of them block and then some of them try and recover. These are exciting plays with a meaningful score, but with 41 to 14, they're not quite as exciting. That's right. It was exciting the first time it happened today on the opening kickoff. Woo. Nice job. That's all. Out of bounds again and now. You have last touch by the receiving team. Ball knocked out of bounds at the Cowboys. That'll be the Eagles ball. Eagles ball, and they'll take it right there. And I would imagine with the situation and the score that that they're just going to want to kick was last touched by the receiving team where it went out of bounds. It's the receiving team's ball first down. And I would imagine that they're just going to want to run the clock out. I call it Detmer. Detmer is the quarterback. First and ten. Coy Detmer, a local Texas guy, says he has some people coming here to the game just to watch him hold. Here comes the reverse to Charles Johnson. And right now for a game break, let's go back to James Brown in Los Angeles. Hey, Pat, a new fact, Saf Acid, that is, added to the vaunted Vikings offense as a quarterback and a tight end's body, Dante Culpepper. Three rushing touchdowns most ever by a Vikings quarterback. Hey, Pat, good day for young quarterbacks, Culpepper, McNown, and, of course, in your game, McNabb as well. Back to Pat and John. And McNabb and Deuce Staley both outstanding today. McNabb threw for one, scored one. Number one trap choice of the Eagles a year ago from Syracuse. The one he scored, he did everything. He dunked the football and then he knocked Deuce Staley down. <laughs> Mitchell. He was the whole thing. He showed what kind of athlete he was. This is how he got him started. Remember that play pass? He threw for a touchdown. Throws that slam in his seat. The thing that he could do so well is throw and then move and throw and then just plain move and run with power. And jump. That's not bad. We have to have the thing. Oh, no, we don't either. I was going to say, we have to have the thing here where he knocks down Deuce Stable. <laughs> yeah. That's the period at the end of the sentence. 41-14. Mitchell with deep back. He gets the carry again. Brian Mitchell. Brian Mitchell with the carry. Whoa. The official went down. I think that's the umpire too. Yeah. That, that, our our yeah, camera had to go down. I wonder what that looked like from there. I wonder if a guy going down. Here it is. See, he's hanging in there. You hang in there. You hang in there. And then there's a hit, and then you have to get in there. And all of a sudden, you're looking up at the hole in the roof. Yeah, we'll see. Well, see, he, he, he saw the fight. Yeah. He he was there for the end of the play, and then, a, then a fight broke out. So he had to go. So he ended up with his with his head, which was really please, please, you know on a please, swivel, please, please. upside down. Here's Mitch. Stanley Pritchett, not Mitchell. Pritchett down. Inside the five for another game break. Let's send you back to James Brown in Los Angeles. Hey, Pat, I'm certain this is shades of Dan Marino in your memory bank as well. Sean King faking the spike. Instead, going with the uh, pass to Redale Anthony. 
Tampa Bay comes away victorious over New England, 21-16. Back to Pat and John. I'll never forget Marino doing that against the Jets. Yeah, that's a good time. The first game of the regular season is a good time to pull out the tricks. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's why I think we see reverses. I think we see like that fake spike, and, and those kinds of plays work very well the first game of the season. Pritchett again. Stanley Pritchett. On first down, got back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. I wonder what kind of memories Troy Aikman has of his games against the Eagles. They sacked him 11 times up at Bet Stadium. They've always come after him. It always seems like it's been a difficult afternoon or night yeah. for him. And and you would think that the Cowboys by now would know that. And and you can't do everything about it, but there's some things you can do about it that they didn't do. Detmer lobs it in the end zone where it's picked off by Sparks. And the Cowboys take over. So much for running out the clock, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think when you have a game like this at 41 to 14, now you just want to get it over with, and you don't you don't have to do these kinds of things. I mean, you can just run the ball, and then you can try for a field goal. Here, there was nothing there. I mean, there was no reason for Detmer to throw that ball at all. Spark was all ready to retire from football. He thought he was through playing. And the Cowboys contacted him. Yeah, he want to come back. Then he went to practice and threw up. Yeah, the first day he yeah. uh, he he threw up before uh, they got the team three times. That's what Darren Woodson was saying. Yeah, he said you know he was waiting for him to come. <laughs> he didn't even make team. But you know he was he was going to retire and then they wanted him to come back and he said no he wasn't going to come back because he was satisfied with his life and then then I think they added a little more length to the money and a little more money. Cunningham incomplete. Intended for Galloway. For an update, let's return again to James Brown in Los Angeles. Hey, Pat, you think folks will be shocked about this one? Quarterback Jay Fiedler hooking up with Aronde Gadsden. 16 yards, Miami manhandled Seattle today. 23 0. Six Seattle turnovers didn't help the cause at all. Back to Pat and John. We will be visiting with an unhappy Mike Holmgren this week. That's right. Uh, our game next week is the St. Louis Rams at Seattle. Cunningham back in the pocket. Incomplete. Intended for Galloway. You know, talking about Mike Holmgren, though, doesn't Andy Reid have all the mannerisms? He really of Mike does. Sound Holmgren? even sounds like. Yeah, him. he sounds like him. He, you know, he talks like him. He. He, he acts like and, and he has so much of the same background. I mean both of them coached at San Francisco State both of them coached at BYU both of them coached at you know Green Bay and and, and they, they they I mean their background is so similar that you could see why they do. He may have a little broader background than Mike. <laughs> Off by the Eagles. Rashard Cook makes the interception. I was talking to Steve Mariucci the other day, the, the coach of the 49ers, and he told me the first time he said, Say hello to Andy Reid for me. He said the first time they met Andy Reid, they were both going to coach at Green Bay, yep. and they were in a hotel in, in Green Bay, and, and a fire alarm went off, and they both got out in the hallway in their underwear. And and Mariucci went up and said to Andy Reid, "You must be Andy Reid." And that's the only. That's how they met. That's how they met. That's the first Automatic time they ever saw each other. And that's that's how they met. There's no more to that story. No, no, no. That's <laughs> that's the end. Just two coaches in their underwear in the, in the hallway, saying hello to each other. Joey Galloway being helped back to his feet. Let's see if we can figure out how he got hurt. Well, you see this. This is a good picture of a of a cover two where you get up and you know, and they just bumped him. He just got bumped out of bounds, and you could look it look, looked like his left knee just went or or cramped up. It was on the bump. Harris came up and hit him, and we talked about wanting to be physical and how they were going to go after Troy Aikman, but 
The other thing that they wanted to do was be very physical on the wide receivers too. And Andy Reid likes that. He likes a little nastiness. Well, and the guy that did that was Al Harris. Yeah. He's a pretty good player. And he's a third corner, but Al Harris, as a as a cornerback, could start on a lot of teams. There's Jackie Harris, who just made the reception. You know, it's so hot down there, and those guys have been out there for so long. You're you're never sure when a guy goes down there if he has an injury or if it's just fatigue or if it's a combination of fatigue and cramp and those kinds of things. There's Al Harris. You know, to be a corner in this league, you have to have a pretty good dose of cockiness and a bad memory or a good memory. A bad memory. You have to forget anything. Anything bad that happens to you, you have to forget about it, and you have to believe that no one can beat you. That's why I think some of those corners are so demonstrative, because yep. they're kind of talking themselves into it. Well, after talking, you talk to Daryl Green or Deion Sanders, two of the best, both of them, not cocky, but very sure of themselves. And sure that no one could beat him. I would put Deion Sanders in the category of cocky. I think I would too. <laughs> there are people around here who would too. Cunningham <laughs> throws it outside to Michael Wiley. Flag on the play. Wiley, a rookie running back from Ohio Michael State. You know, the, the Cowboys. Had a quarterback, Clint Sterner, yep. uh, that that played a lot in the preseason, and he's on the practice squad. So they'll probably have to activate him. And whatever that was to Joey Galloway is not an unserious thing. When they put him on the cut, you know, you see I'm, something like that, and you hope it's a cramp. But you know, when you see this, that it's it's worse than a. Than it a cramp. looked like something just gave way. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was yeah, when, he got, got like jolted, that. when he got jolted. Disqualification. Number 79. It'll be half the distance to the goal. And the subsequent unsportsmanlike conduct, which will be half the distance to the goal from there, which will put the ball on the seven yard line. Eric Williams. Yep, another combination of heat and frustration. Eric Williams missed most of the preseason, was going to retire. Tough guy from Philadelphia. So this is a beating that is very, very hard for him to take. And Sometimes you just have to hold those things within you. And he oh. didn't do it. Sorry to say Clint Sterner, the quarterback on the practice squad, played at the University of Arkansas. And Frank Broyles, who's the athletic director, called Jerry Jones and said, take a look at this guy. He's the best we've ever had. And that's They're the only time Broyles has ever done that. Right. They're going over to explain what what Eric Williams did watch here he is right there and watch him he just elbowed him to the rip so that was one thing and I think there was something else and now when you get ejected that player has to leave so referee Tom White went over I'm sure to tell him that that, that he's ejected and he has to leave the field you cannot be ejected and stay on the sideline. The word on this guy, Joey Galloway, is he sprained his left knee in that collision with Al Harris over on the sideline. Third and 28. The stands are almost empty as the Big E heads for the locker room. Yeah, they don't they don't let them you know stay on the on the sideline once they eject them. They mean that. They not only have to get off the field, but uh, they can't go to the sideline. They have to go to the locker room. Neutral zone infraction, number 53, defense. It's a five yard penalty, remains third down. Hugh Douglas is number 53 for Philadelphia. You know, you see that. You see a Joey Galloway being carried off. You see Troy Aikman, who you know is. Taken away and is in the hospital, and you you think of all the, you know, I mean everything is is so close. You just get ready, you're excited for the first first game of the season, and then these things happen, 
they can just devastate a team that very first week. That's Wiley. Outside the 20, short of the first down. Well, a devastate. You, you think about Aikman and Galloway, both losing both of them. Those are two of the weapons they were really, really counting on. Well, the whole offseason. That was yeah. when they started. They brought in, you know, Jack Riley, and they were going to, you know, score more, be more wide open on offense, you know, use speed and, and those types of things. And then, boom, this happens to you. Mike Anor kick is fair caught by Brian Mitchell. But then on the other hand, the Eagles, they just kind of stay up there in yeah. Philadelphia. They don't bother anyone. And, <laughs> you know, everyone's talking about the Washington Redskins, the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Giants, and they just shut up and work and go to practice. And then they come out there and put a whipping like this on the Cowboys. Led by Andy Reid. John Runyon said he came to Philadelphia one obviously because of money. I mean he's been yep. paying a heck of a lot of money to play there but he said he liked what Andy Reid said. I mean they're going to build something. They're going to get better and they'll be better next year and better the year after that. But he said that's the way we work Tennessee. They were eight, 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 and then we're in the Super Bowl. This is Stanley Pritchett. Picked up about nine yards. Hollis Thomas had a good day today. 41 14 two minutes left. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Energizer E squared the battery with a heart of titanium. squared from Energizer, a whole new battery with a heart of titanium that lets you take power to the next level. E squared. See, I told you this would work. Good call, Dave. Excellent venue. We didn't get married anywhere. Guys, someone's coming. Hi. Hi. How are you Hi. doing? Are you here with the bride or the groom? The groom. Bride. bride. <laughs> nice to meet you. Guys, I think they're on to us. <laughs> hey, I think they're on to us. Having one on the house? Grab a Miller Lite. It's Miller time. <laughs> to catch America's most wanted, the FBI has enlisted the services of America's most confused. Uh, but no, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, well, it depends on what you. On September 15th, Jamie Foxx is plugged in. Put him on the street, make it known he knows where the gold is. I guarantee that our gold thief will show up. And turned on. How's your headache, though? What headache? Dave. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Rated R. Starts September 15th. Randall Cunningham taking advantage of. The missing fan, Deuce Staley, who had an outstanding day. I don't know what you can say about over 200 yards on the ground. Yeah, and the way he started, yeah. they were running him so much. I thought in the fourth quarter he was going to be dead tired, but with a 41 to 14 yeah. lead, he's he's been he out the fourth play. quarter, and he looks fresh as heck, doesn't he? Somehow, he looks like he could go play another game right now. When you're winning 41 to 14, the first game, the opening game, you can stay fresh. Yeah, we talk about Deuce Staley, but but that offensive line of his really did a good job. We talked about John Runyon and what he did, Jermaine Mayberry, John Wellborn, the left guard, Bubba Miller, the center, new center this year, Trey Thomas, who is a you know, very good tackle. This is a strength to this offensive line or both tackles, but 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 they did a job too. I mean, they were the guys that did the block. They go run you and got that tackle yep. trap. I mean, they were the guys that, that that sold the play pass. They were the guys that pass protected. I mean, the, the pass protection of this Philadelphia Eagle team was outstanding. That's Pritchett. Coming up on our Auto Trader postgame report, JB Terry Howe and Chris will have scores from around the league and Fox Sports ticker. 
Second we'll have up to the second stats. That's all coming up next on the post game report. So stick around. Yeah, we were talking about people handling the heat today and how the you know fans had to and you can see the different things that they did and obviously how the players and coaches had to but but another group has handled the, the, the heat very well today. That's the officials. I mean I think that you know when you don't notice officials yep. and they do a job like this I thought under these conditions they did an outstanding job. Stanley Pritchett gets the carry. Less than 30 seconds remaining now. And that's going to be all of this one. With the Dallas Cowboys in frustration walking off. Dave Campo coaching debut. Very much a disappointment. Andy Reid's very enthusiastic and very successful. 41 to 14. We'll be back with the play of the game. Right here at Texas Stadium in a moment. <laughs> 